Kenny, you ready for game time? Join me, Sal from Behind Eric Basketball, as I announce play-by-play. -play. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe, because now we're about to go live. Entering the pregame, we now present Sal from Behind Eric Basketball. And what's good, everyone? Happy Saturday. Glad to have you guys back in the stream and be a part here on the channel once again as we get a good one in store, tipping off in around 20 minutes from now. Number one seed, the North Carolina Tar Heels, taking on the number nine seed, the Michigan State Spartans. The Battle of Blue Bloods for this matchup coming up. UNC record at 28-7. Michigan State at 20-14 this season. Michigan State winning their first round game. 69-51 against Mississippi State. North Carolina winning rather easily against the 16 seed Wagner, 90-62. These two teams meet up in the round of 32. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Ring that notification bell to be a part here for future live streams as well. Bryce, Vegas, Daniel, Mario, welcome in. Glad that uh, Mario's start to get better there. And uh, hopefully... You'll be able to keep on getting better in your recovery. And how about Gonzaga right now? They are smashing Kansas by 20, 84 to 64 with under two minutes left to play. And then the game that went down earlier today, Arizona picked up the win by 10 over Dayton, 78 to 68. So finally, we'll have some different games on at different times as they had standalone games, but now we'll get other games going on at the same time as. Michigan State versus UNC will tip off at 5.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Washington State against Iowa State following it, it up right behind at 6.10. Oakland against NC State at 7.10. And then Texas against Tennessee at 8 o'clock. Duquesne, Illinois at 8.40. Oregon against Creighton late tonight at 9.40. So this is the first out of two that I plan on covering tonight here. This game coming up between Michigan State and UNC. And then later tonight, the battle between the UT teams, Texas and Tennessee. That should be a good matchup. And hopefully two really, really good close matchups in store. Unlike the previous two where Arizona won by 10 and Gonzaga is about to win by 20, it looks like for them. Yep, uh, Wisconsin as a five seed losing to James Madison. That James Madison team, man, they are something special for them. I think they're going to give Duke a run for its money tomorrow in that game um, James Madison they just look like they were quicker to the ball compared to Wisconsin and the classic Wisconsin it seems like every single year for Wisconsin they just don't have like any sort of athletic dudes on that team for Wisconsin they 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 were going to get upset by Colgate two years ago in the bracket and they were lucky that Johnny Davis took over the final five minutes of that game or they would have lost against Colgate because everybody was 
basically the same speed with each other on the floor. And then Johnny Davis, he was on turbo so much faster than everybody else. But yeah, typical Wisconsin. Um, they get smashed against Providence back in November. That game really exposed Wisconsin. And uh, they went 3-8 and eight in their final 11 games to close out the regular season. And then they made a run all the way to the Big Ten Tournament Championship. But Big Ten Tournament Championship teams are cursed. And uh, Wisconsin being part of that curse, joining Ohio State from 2021. And uh, Iowa in that grouping from 2022. Purdue from 2022, 2021 with Illinois. And then last year was Purdue. And then Penn State all exiting before the second weekend. Illinois is taking on Duquesne. I would imagine Illinois should be able to win that game against Duquesne right there. If not, that's some issues right there in that game, I believe. They should be pulling the biggest line out of anybody today. Yeah, they got a 10.5 point favor for Illinois. They should be able to win that game. But uh, stranger things have happened. Two years ago, Iowa lost against Richmond in the first round, and Illinois takes on a A-10 team later tonight with Duquesne. Hey, what's good, Arku in the stream? Welcome in. Taking Michigan State for this one for uh, our coup here. Yeah, that's going to be a, a good matchup there. The Dukes going up against Duke for tomorrow. How fitting James Madison's matchups that they've got. James Madison going up against Wisconsin from Madison, Wisconsin. And then the James Madison Dukes will take on Duke in the second round. Just so funny how the bracket was put together right there with... Uh, how uh, James Madison got their first two draws in the brackets. Yeah, there's been a lot of different um, matchups that have been able to get some like previous history in them. Jermaine Kuznard from Oregon, a former transfer from South Carolina. Later tonight, Rick Barnes, the coach at Tennessee. He used to coach at Texas. So that's a matchup with Barnes going up against his former program. So there's a couple of uh, different matchups there that we see. Grand Canyon and James Madison, the two 12 seeds, pulling off upsets in the first round. That Grand Canyon team, they are just so athletic for them. I, I picked Grand Canyon in the first round. Good decision right there. Um, St. Mary's as a five seed. I, I, I'm I looking back at so far, like, la last year it was all about the depth. Like, the teams that advanced in the tournament were all the teams that were deep from last year. That's not been the case this year. Top 10 teams and bench points have all been bounced out. Auburn, Kentucky, BYU, Samford. Those teams have got bounced out in the first round in the tournament. So this has been unlike the depth of uh, what we saw last year where the deepest teams were going the furthest, like Florida Atlantic and San Diego State, teams that went through like a 10-11, 12-man rotation. And uh, talking about a team that's not deep, Kansas just got shredded by Gonzaga. Final score, Gonzaga 89, Kansas 68. As Gonzaga's going to be moving on to the Sweet 16. How fitting. Arizona and Gonzaga. The two coaches that used to coach with each other, Tommy Lloyd out of Arizona, Mark Few for Gonzaga, both the first two teams to advance over to the Sweet 16 as Gonzaga will face the winner of Purdue versus Utah State tomorrow at 240. I think that's going to be a good game right there um, tomorrow. I, I think Zach Eady is going to have some difficulty with Utah State's bigs. I, I didn't realize that Utah State, watching them play yesterday, they throttled TCU. Uh, Utah State goes with a double big lineup for them. They have two two guys that's massive on their team, and all they do is slam dunk the ball. Like that's what Utah State's done historically. Um, Namias Cato, who plays for the Celtics, he came out of uh, Utah State and played college basketball in that system for Utah State. What a story there! They're under a first year head coach. I think. Um, I think they could give some issues tomorrow to Purdue with Zach Eady in that matchup because they got two double bigs that can, uh, they're physical too, that can make things very, very tough for Eady athletic bigs that they have. Jay Ramirez, welcome back in. Glad to have you back in the stream. Yeah, uh, good to see that I was finally able to get that uh, Grand Canyon one right there. I've been super high in Grand Canyon. They went 29-4. and four. So glad they uh, cashed in yesterday. 
Yeah, I, I watched a couple of their games this year, and they just look super athletic. They're led by Ty and Grant Foster, who's a transfer from Kansas. He's the top scorer on that team. And all they do is just drive and drive and drive at you. That should be a great game tomorrow, Grand Canyon and Alabama. It's I, I wanted to do that stream for tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's at the same hour that James Madison takes on Duke. So I'm going to do James Madison versus Duke because that's going to be a another really good game as well for tomorrow. What's good, Felix, Warren, George? Glad to have you guys back in the stream once again. So yeah, Grand Canyon taking on Alabama. That's a contrast to two different styles as well. Alabama... Um, with really, really difficult interior defense that they have just uh, looked terrible on their interior defense, whereas Grand Canyon loves to drive right at you and get to the free throw line and put you into foul trouble. There were so many fouls yesterday in the Alabama-Charleston game, too. I think both teams had 20 each for uh, fouls. Yeah, I would not be shocked tomorrow if Utah State upsets Purdue in that game, considering that Edie's going to have a tough matchup against two bigs down low utah state's had a lot of like issues turning over to basketball though but um they they don't really have like a lead guard on their team for for utah state they're more like front court based i i was stunned how they handle tcu like the i i felt it the big 12 has been down this year uh, very inconsistent with the middle of the Big 12, BYU, Texas Tech, TCU, Texas. I was considering Texas tonight against Tennessee. I took Tennessee, though, and um, I hope my uh, prediction goes out to plan because I was going through both of the rosters today, and Tennessee's got eight seniors on their team. Texas has five. Tennessee's just much more balanced for them. Rudy in the street, welcome in. Yeah, Kansas just a no-show today against Gonzaga. Kansas has ha been having a lot of depth issues this year. They're like bottom 30 in the nation in bench scoring for them. So Utah State has Grant Osabor. He's averaging three assists per game. He's a six foot eight big for Osabor from the United Kingdom. He, he plays much taller than his height. He's 6'8", 245. He's averaging 18, 9, and 3 for points, rebounds, and assists for Osabor. So he's the top scorer for Utah State. And then their lead guard um, that they have is a first year, Mason Fowsley. He's like the he's the number three. Or no, they got Darius Brown who leads the team in assists, six point six assists. Their top scoring guards, though, Ian Martinez. And then Mason Fowsley. And then they had another big that they had in the team. They had Isaac Johnson, seven footer. I feel like they had another one on the team too for them that gave a lot of matchup issues. Oh, Sacco. Yeah. Khalifa Sacco from France. He's averaging just three points per game in under two rebounds. And he was giving TCU a bunch of like matchup nightmares yesterday. Sacco was uh was his name. He must have had a game of his life yesterday, a six eleven big out of France for Utah State. Uh this game will tip off in about ten minutes, so we're getting closer to tip off time here. If you guys are new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell as well. Speaking about rebounds here is that uh North Carolina, I think I think the difference because I went over my uh bracket predictions and my bracket predictions I picked UNC I like UNC in the glass in this game. I think if there's a difference maker, Armando Baycott, he's got 18 double-doubles this season, top 10 in the nation. Harrison Ingram's averaging nine rebounds per game. North Carolina is uh, top 20 in the nation in rebounds per game, whereas Michigan State, the issue this year is that they've been around the 200s in defensive rebounds this season for Michigan State. They're going to have to make a bunch of threes in this game for Michigan State to have an opportunity for them. Uh, North Carolina has got a really solid interior defense. This is going to be one heck of a game here. UNC led by an All-American R.J. Davis in the backcourt, putting up 21 points per game. They got some other solid seniors as well on the team. Cormac Ryan transferred over from Notre Dame, a sharpshooter. Elliot Cadeau in his first season. Uh, leading the team in assists per game. Harrison Ingram's another transfer that's um, in the front court alongside Baycott. Ingram's averaging 12-9-2 and 
this year for points, rebounds, and assists. And then off the bench, they have Paxton Wojcik, who used to play for Brown. Um, he comes off the bench for UNC. Michigan State's got a lot of experience, too. It was their backcourt guys that led them to victory in the last game. Tyson Walker specifically for him. He's going to have to be on point and have his greatest game of his career to pull off this upset. Um, this is going to be a really, really, really good matchup, I feel like, because you can never count out Tom Izzo in March. He just always seems to find a way to make it to the second weekend. Last year, they upset Marquette, who was the two seed in the bracket. Michigan State was the seven. And um, basically, this is like kind of like a similar season for Michigan State. Super inconsistent for Michigan State this year. They're 20 and 14, um, 10 and 10 in the Big Ten, 3 and 5 in their last eight for them. Got by a Mississippi State team that really struggled turning over the ball. Michigan State did too in that game, which was interesting because they hadn't really struggled with turnovers this year. And then was the case on Thursday. They had a lot of issues with the turnovers. Yeah, North Carolina runs a really fast-paced offense for them. They're, they're a pretty good, efficient team. For them, top 30 in, um, in efficiency this year. Getting to the free to line has been key too. Yeah, Arizona, I think they can meet up with UNC, actually. If uh, they keep on being consistent for Arizona. Right now, they are. Yeah, that would be wild. Grand Canyon making a run all the way to Phoenix. So the winner of this game would have to face the winner of Grand Canyon versus Alabama. Cap fan, welcome in. Thanks for joining in. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, or ring that notification bell as well. Hopefully everybody is uh, doing well out here. Happy Saturday. Michigan State. Trying to find their way to the second weekend uh, once again with another upset. Last year, they upset Shaka Smart and Marquette. Looking to upset Hubert Davis and UNC. But UNC, the lone tournament under Davis, they went all the way to the national championship game two years ago as an eight seed. Runner up to Kansas in 2022. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Felix caught a, another 30-pound striper last summer. That's great, man. North Carolina is only pulling a four and a half point favorite on the line in this game. That's how much there is for underdog confidence for Michigan State. They're going to have to have a signature game out of that dude, Tyson Walker, in the backcourt number two for Michigan State. We're under five and a half minutes away from getting this one from starting. So 5.30 will be starting uh, five and a half minutes away. So we'll be tipping off around 5.45 Eastern time for this one. Yeah, I'll um I'll see if I can uh do that there for um a second chance bracket. I'll see if I can uh do that one. Definitely would love to. Oop. Hmm. Ooh. My thing just accidentally glitched here for some reason. It glitches. So I'm just going to stop the stream, exit out, restart it for some reason because this whole scoreboard glitched and the time I'm trying to get it up glitched for some reason. So it's just going to like probably like buffer for 5, 10 seconds. So if you see a buffer, uh, don't worry. I'm just going to see if I can restart it since there's like a glitch here. So I'll be back in just a second. All right. So there we go. So I was able to get the time up. Yeah, the time, for some reason, um, just like glitched out. And I wasn't able to get the time. From time to time, the thing will crash for some reason, unfortunately. It asked me if it wanted to like do an update for some reason. Yeah, my first round didn't go so uh, so hot. I picked way too many upsets. I had a, a lot of confidence in McNeese State, and that one really came back to bite me. So it's not looking so well. I had TCU last night. 
a lot of the games I got right in the nightcap, except for TCU. The Drake one really hurt me um, on the opening night. There was a lot of, a lot of teams that were up that really hurt me in those games in the first night. Sam Sanford tried to come back and they couldn't. That one hurt me. Yeah, I, I took way too many like 12-5, 13-4 upsets, and a lot of them just came back to bite. And then finally at the end, end of Friday, I finally capitalized on two of those, getting James Madison and Grand Canyon correct. But yeah, I didn't get Drake correct. Uh, McNeese State, that one really hurt. Nebraska, that one was a tough one. New Mexico, uh, New Mexico was a bad one yesterday. Had a bunch of confidence in New Mexico. I had them going far too. All the way to the Elite Eight pulled off upsets for New Mexico. And they, oh man, they were just a no-show yesterday. I'm going to write that down for my notes next year. Don't pick any Mountain West teams besides San Diego State once again. And uh, Utah State did win, though, yesterday. And uh, we'll see what happens when they play against Purdue. But it seems like San Diego State's the only team that knows how to win first-round games for the most part. Um, out in the Mountain West, it's been a really difficult this tournament for those teams SEC having a tough tough time Tennessee Texas A&M Alabama saving the SEC right now yep I did not pick Charleston glad I didn't I saw Alabama just too much firepower for that team I try to try to stay away from colonial teams usually I'm putting down in my notes, though, for next year, pick an Ivy school. So uh, that's going to be in my notes. Pick an Ivy school in the first round unless they face these teams. Gonzaga, Michigan State. A couple others that always constantly win first round. Oregon is one not to pick against in the first round for sure. But if you're an Ivy League school and you go up against an SEC team, there's a good chance they're going to pull off the upset right there. Ivy's done it now twice in a row. Princeton and Yale. Probably we'll see Harvard next year. Do it once again. Cornell was putting up a bunch of points this season. I think they were top five in scoring for Cornell. Yeah, Princeton was incredible this year. They had four losses this season for them. They had three and then Brown upset them. Brown was 12-17 and 17 when they beat Princeton. So here we go, about to tip off in just a moment. North Carolina is the one seed against Michigan State, the nine seed. And North Carolina is pulling just a four and a half point favorite on the line for this matchup today. Over under at 143 and a half. North Carolina is nine and one in their last 10 games. The only game that they lost within the last 10 days out of that stretch was the conference tournament championship against NC State. And uh, looking at how NC State's doing, they have just caught lightning in a bottle. Right now, winning six six games within a ten day span for NC State, basically. Good backcourt matchup. Tyson Walker, the only active Division One player with over two thousand career points, over five hundred plus assists during his career, going up against R.J. Davis, top fifteen in scoring this season for the All American for UNC. Here's the starters: A.J. Hogard, Tyson Walker, Jaden Akins, Malik Hall, Carson Cooper for Michigan State, going up against Elliot Cadeau, R.J. Davis, Armando Baycott, Corback Ryan, and Harrison Ingram for North Carolina. Twenty-sixth all-time NCAA tournament appearance for head coach Tom Izzo. He is fifty-six and twenty-four all-time for his record. 17 second week in appearances. He is 17 and 9 in the second round all time. North Carolina led by Hubert Davis, head coach in year three with a program. Took his team all the way to the national championship game runner up two years ago against Kansas in 2022. Here we go. We are underway. UNC controls the opening tip. North Carolina white jerseys with the Carolina light blue numbers. Light blue leathers as UNC has it first. Back of this way, Baycott down low. Off the turnaround. He spins, he scores. Up and through good for two by Baycott. They're going to have to play through Armando Baycott a lot in this matchup. North Carolina, top 25 in the nation in rebounds per game. Michigan State, 225th in the nation in rebounds per game. Jumper at the elbow. It's good. Rattles in by Tyson Walker. 
Walker's going to have to play the game of his life tonight. Baycott down low, pushes off. That's an offensive foul. Carson Cooper takes the charge as Baycott picks up a quick foul. 41 seconds into action right now. Michigan State's going to have to get UNC into as deep as fall trouble as possible, especially the two front court guys, Baycott and Ingram, to have themselves a chance. Michigan State with a possession. Hogard sends it over to Walker. Bounce pass goes to Hall. Hall backs his way to the mid block. Hall works his way inside the low post. Puts up the shot. He scores for two up and through over Ingram. Four to two for Sparty right now in the opening minute. 28 and 10 all time in the second round for UNC as a program. They're 9 and 2 as the number one seed against the nine seed in the NCAA tournament. The three skidded off the rim out of bounds, missed by UNC. What's good, Jeffrey in the street? Welcome in. Wow, new uh, NIT champ this year. Looks like North Texas lost today to Satan Hall. Yeah, Satan Hall definitely deserves it for them. They should have been in this tournament. They, um, they had a couple losses midseason when their top player, Kadari Richmond, wasn't playing, but they should have been able to make the tournament. Just an absolute joke that there were way too many teams that were put into the bracket that were either Mountain West or SEC. Plus, Virginia, jumper in transition, missed off the back room. No good by Ingram. Rebound secured here for Michigan State. Michigan State with it. 18 and a half left to go in the first so far. At the right wing's Walker. Walker defended the round the perimeter by Davis. Walker draws a double team, gets it away to Cooper. Cooper towards the top, dribbles towards his left. Cooper hands it off. Hogar dribbles up. Hogar circles around. Bounce pass right corner. Outside the... Aikens back into the hands to Hogar. Jabs that working out Ryan. Passes to the middle. Cooper jabs that floats at the runner over. Baycott no good. Tipped around. Offensive rebound pulled down though for Michigan State. Baycott couldn't squeeze it. That's a rare missed rebound opportunity there. Hall driving underneath. Got it stripped out of bounds. Last touch by Ingram. So this will stay Michigan State basketball here. What a start to this game so far. Physical right out of the gate. Both of these teams playing in the interior. Baycott with a lone bucket. Malik Hall and Tyson Walker have two each so far for Michigan State. This is going to be one heck of a coaches match here. Tom Izzo, 26 NCAA tournament appearances, 29th year as a head coach. The referees actually switched it. So initially it was out of bounds by Ingram. Referees came together. They switched the call. It's North Carolina basketball. Davis turns the corner. Dribble drive inside. He scores with a right hand layup. R.J. Davis, a walking bucket, putting up above 21 points per game this season for the All-American. Michigan State off the screen. Jumper, 15-footer, swoosh. Tyson Walker with another two. He's going to have to play the game of his life tonight for Tyson. Averaging 18 per game this season. Top score for Michigan State, Ryan. At the wing, he's a transfer from Notre Dame. Into the hands of Davis. Davis, the senior from White Plains, New York. Bounce pass goes to Baycott at the low block. Backs his way in Cooper inside the low post. Pivot, and he gets stripped and fouled. Two shots coming up here at the line for Baycott. Hey, what's good? Uh, Andrew on the stream. Welcome on board, man. Yeah, my day went pretty well today. If you guys are new in the channel, make sure to smash the thumbs up. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Ring that notification bell if you like to be notified here for future live streams I cover on the channel. Basketball action, play-by-play, -play, college hoops, NBA. Javano, welcome in. Taking UNC. Let us know out in the chat who you've got for this one here. Type it in. UNC MSU. Two free throws coming up by Baycott. North Carolina with loads of experience on this team. Baycott's was the star player two years ago Years ago, that led them to the national championship runner-up for UNC against Kansas in 2022. First free throws go by Baycott. Uh, no, Florida unfortunately lost against Colorado. It was, it was on a game winner by Colorado yesterday. So Colorado won 102-100 yesterday. Second free throw bricked off the back rim. Matty Sissoko collects the defensive board for Michigan State. Michigan State by one with possession. Hogard slows it down. Edge of the March Madness logo. Hogard's defended top of the key here by Elliot Cadell. Hogard down to 14 on the shot clock. Bounce pass goes to Hall at the elbow. Hall bounce pass down low to the low block here. Sissoko. Sissoko backs his way on Baycott. Turn around. Jumper over Baycott. Connects on it. It's a tough shot right there for number 22. Matty Sissoko. Ingram at the top, hands it off. Here's a three straight away. Ryan, no good off the rim. Short to rebound controlled for Michigan State. 
Michigan State with a three-point lead, looking to build it here, slowing down the possession. Hogar dribbles up, drives inside, passes out, left quarter. Jaded Aikens, rainbow three, bricked off the back iron. Rebound secured by Ingram. They push it up the floor. At the wing, Davis sneaks past the defender. Jepper to elbow, off the back rim, no good. Had a good look at it, though. Hall deflected out of bounds. And this will be, as we're trying to see the call right here, I think Malik Hall stepped, did he step out of bounds with it? Or no? Or was he pushed out of bounds here? He came up with a rebound, sandwiched in between Ryan and Baker, and I think he clearly lost it out of bounds by himself there. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. That's out of bounds by Malik Hall. No foul called right there. Great defense by UNC to prevent Hall from pinning it off anybody. Baycott, Baycott hands it off to Davis. Davis towards his right at the right corner. Davis double teamed. Davis bounce pass. Baycott gonna have to play through him today. Baycott down low. Other knee puts up the shot. No good. Tipped out of bounds again. Last touch by UNC though. So this will be Michigan State basketball. Wow, what a start here for Sparty in this game. Some tough defense. 15-47 left to go. And the first half is we have our first media timeout on the floor tonight. And Michigan State out to a three-point lead. Here we go. First time out. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. What's good, Jason, on the stream? Welcome in. Oh, boy. Coach Cal is going to get fired. Uh, no shocker right there with uh, what went down on Thursday. And, um, yeah, I, I feel for you, man. Got to bring in a new head coach. That's able to coach these young guys, be able to get Kentucky successfully advancing into deeper runs into the tournament, considering that uh, it's not all about the one and done and recruiting, but not coaching. What a start for Michigan State. Some tough defense down low, allowing UNC to shoot the ball just two for seven to begin this game right now. So if you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Make sure to ring that notification bell if you'd like to be notified for future live streams here. Intense start because North Carolina is trying to play down low and Michigan State's preventing them to not do anything down there. UNC hasn't found their stroke yet from three. Cormac, Ryan, Elliott, Cadeau both missing a three-point shot. They usually get hot in the second half for this team. Tyson Walker's got four for Michigan State. Yeah, Kansas just no match in that game for uh, Gonzaga. Jen, welcome back in. Thanks for joining in. That would be like the worst Kansas team that I've ever seen in my lifetime. I, I believe that was their worst winning percentage this season since like 1988. For Kansas. They went into the tournament with 10 losses this year, which is unheard of for Kansas. Hey, I'll see you back later, Andrew. Thanks for stopping by, man. What a start right now for Michigan State. Up by three. Preseason number four ranked team to begin in the preseason poll. Inconsistent this year. 20 and 14 record for Michigan State up against the one seed 28 and 7 UNC back from the timeout. Maddie Sissoko backs his way. Turn around. Hook over Baycott. He connects on it. Michigan State right now is doubling up North Carolina. Number seven on the floor, floor first time today. Set Trimble for North Carolina. Baycott has it at the baseline. Skip pass. Right quarter. Trimble took the three. Bricked off the back room in North Carolina. Yet to find their stroke from the perimeter. Zero for three in this game to begin for UNC. Sissoko at the top. Sissoko 
Hands it off to Aikens. Aikens dribbles up at the baseline. Outside Sissoko. Dribbles towards his right. Sissoko at the right elbow. Bounce pass goes over to Trey Holloman. Holloman dribbles back right corner. Defended by Ryan. Eight on the shot clock. Holloman towards his left. Holloman bounce pass. Drops it down. Low block into the hands. To Hall. Backs his way. Turn around. Tough shot. Malik Hall makes it. Some really tough shots that they're able to dial up here for Michigan State. That's another one. Seven point lead here for Sparty. UNC with a possession. Davis puts the ball on the outside into the hands to Jalen Withers. The transfer from Louisville. Baycott handoff. Davis. Davis takes the three. A little bit of contact there. No call with the referees though as it gets tipped over to Michigan State with a rebound. Up the floor quickly. Trey Holloman outside Walker to the perimeter. Hall gives it off to Aikens towards his right into the hands to Walker again. Tyson Walker at the March Madness logo defended by Davis 101. Walker dribbles up, drives, jumper, mid-range, and he gets fouled. Slipped on a banana peel on that fall right there, rising after the J as R.J. Davis clipped him from behind, and this will be two shots coming up in the free throw line for Tyson Walker. Yep, uh, yeah, Kansas this year, they, they're like one of the worst teams in depth this season for them they're like top uh like bottom 30 in the nation and bench points for them just Gonzaga just overwhelmingly just took a toll with their offense and uh just overwhelmed them and Kansas just it just can't find any sort of bench rhythm this year for them uh Jason on the street welcome in Bill welcome back in man best of luck in the under for this one yeah, I heard about that with the uh, interpreter a couple of days ago. Got fired. It's crazy. One for two that trip at the free to line. Roy Williams in attendance today. Watching the Tar Heels right now. 17th all-time meeting between these schools. In this matchup here between the Blue Bloods. Bounce pass from Ryan goes to Baycott. Baycott looking to see if he can get his team back on the scoreboard. A little bit of a scoring draft for UNC. Davis rises for the Jeep 2. Connects on it. Six point lead there. That's a big bucket by RJ. Michigan State has it with Walker. Walker lobs it over to Hall. Hall. Inside working on Jalen Witters. Inside a low post. Malik call off the off big. Puts one up. He gets fouled. Two more shots coming up in the free to line here for Michigan State. It's going to be Malik Hall shooting two. Uh, let's see. I'm going to see if I can get an update here of uh, the Celtics injury. Report for tonight. Shots coming up in the free to line here for Malik Hall. First one, though, good. Skipped around the rim and outs. Uh, Tatum's going into tonight's game questionable, it looks like. So Porzingis is out. Drew Holiday is out. And Jalen Brown is out tonight against Chicago. Second free throw is good by Malik Hall. Once again, Michigan State doubling up North Carolina. Seth Trimble dribbles around the perimeter towards his right. A lot of space. Sends it off to Davis, though. Davis back to the March Madness logo. Davis, spin move, guarded by Holloman. Dribbles up, dump off, off the fingertips, though. That's a turnover. Jalen Withers couldn't squeeze it. A little bit of behind on the pass right there. By Davis as he sent it behind Witters. And Witters couldn't squeeze his hands. That's turnover number two. Michigan State by seven. Never count out Tom Izzo when it comes down to the tournament. Even though they got 14 losses. Rising for the J. That's good. AJ Hogard buries the three. It's a 10 point Michigan State lead. North Carolina has got to get their offense going right now. Set Trimble. Moves it out on top off to Davis. Davis has that the March Madness logo. Davis, skip pass, right corner, Trimble, standing in the corner. Trimble dribbles up inside the key. Trimble circles around, brings along a double team. Handoff, corner three, Ryan, no good. Skidded off the rim, rebound secured here by Michigan State. Look at the push tempo, Holloman. Handoff over to Hogard, outside finds Hall. Open three, Malik call Off the front rim, no good. That would have set the house down with Sparty fans. And we get a loose ball foul picked up on the floor, charged to Jackson Kohler. Lucas, welcome in. 
Your pick looking good right now for Michigan State. 10-point lead for the 9 seed over the 1 seed. Not the first time we've seen this happen between a 9 over a 1. 12 years ago, around this time, it was Northern Iowa on the shot by Ally Farokmanish that upset Kansas. North Carolina in deep trouble. Pick and roll. Bounce pass off the roll down there to the bucket. That's good by Seth Trimble. Nice backdoor cut there by Trimble off the initial roller. Four points in the paint for UNC. They're going to get a ton more throughout the course of this game. They cannot buy a three so far. Michigan State slows it down. Tyson Walker, 15 on the shot clock. Walker dribbles up to the elbow, swings it outside. Kohler, not a three-point shooter. Off the up fake, decided not to take one. Gave it off to Hogard. Hogard floats up the runner, bricked off the back room, tapped off the glass. Who's got the rebound? Uh, Tar Heels do out of the pack here with Trimble. Trimble over to Davis. Davis elevates for the J. Oh, he hits it. RJ knocks down a big time three. It's a five-point game. There's the scored punch right there. Put it up 21 points per game this season for Davis. And Michigan State will draw the shooting foul. So 17 to 12 as we will take the media timeout right now. RJ Davis out in transition. Big three over Tyson Walker to get his team back winning five. All right, if you guys are new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like. Hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell as well here. And, uh, yeah, what a start right now in this game for Michigan State. Um, so, yeah, I still see Jason Tatum's questionable for tonight. So, not sure if he's out just yet for tonight. He's questionable. Five each between Malik Hall and Tyson Walker to begin. Walker's perfect, two for two. Both teams making a three, but North Carolina bricking their threes. UNC is one for six. Michigan State taking it down low. A lot of tough shots that Michigan State's hit, too. A couple uh, baseline fallaway shots. They, they've been patient with their possessions, and it's real, really worked out to get like the best looks possible for Michigan State so far. Woody, welcome in. Yeah, Tom Izzo, Darren March can never count out Izzo. Th this is close in the line. Um... North Carolina came into this game as a four and a half point favorite. Usually that number is more like probably like nine or ten. Like either eight, nine, or ten when you're facing a nine seed. But yeah, this is not your typical nine seed. This is a preseason top five team that UNC is dealing with here. Yep, Michigan State and Oregon always like both of those coaches, Illo, um, Izzo and Altman, always get like the best out of their players in March. Gonzaga, they they always find a way to make it to the second weekend. UNC is gonna wake up right now. These guys just have been bricking threes. The The big difference so far is that uh, Michigan State's leading the rebounds plus six, ten to four. Like, this is something that North Carolina is, like, unfamiliar with, with their territory. They're one of the top rebounding teams in the nation, and these guys are just getting straight up out hustled on the glass so far in this game. That's been the main issue for Michigan State. What's been holding them down this year has been defensive rebounds, and already they've got nine defensive boards compared to four by UNC. Ooh, some tension right there in the huddle, too, for North Carolina. We see during the last timeout, head coach Hubert Davis pushing uh, one of his assistant coaches aside and uh, tr clapping at his team, having some words to his team to get, get going. In this game right now, coming out super flat for UNC. First free throw missed by Michigan State as we are back from the timeout right now. Number 55, Cohen Carr. High flyer. He had a, a couple alley-oop opportunities in the last game. A couple of them 
missed the mark on the alley oop against Michigan, uh, Mich- Mississippi State. Jaden Akins checks back onto the floor once again, and Cooper or uh, Cohen Carr will take a seat on the bench right now. So. Six-point lead, North Carolina looking to wake up. Just four points in the paint. We'll see if they do try to play more through Baycott here. Harrison Ingram has it at the elbow. Spin move, backs his way, bounce pass left corner into the hands to Withers. Withers lost control of basketball off the spin move. It's a reach and fall, though. Picked up by Michigan State. Very lucky right there if you're UNC. I mean, he was out of control with the basketball off the spin. Just unaware of his surroundings. ACC commissioner is watching this right now. And uh, better not be disappointed for UNC, the top regular season team out of the ACC if they uh, come out with an L on this one. Jumpers good at the elbow for the Tar Heels. Jalen Washington, two bench points there for North Carolina. Michigan State's just trying to keep this game as short as possible. Slowing down the game against an explosive UNC offense pouring in the 21st most points in the nation this season. Jackson Kohler backs his way mid-block. Kohler down low. Kohler turn around. Tough shot. And he hits it. Jackson Kohler with a turn around off the bag. Then he gets that the fall. Some tough shots they're making so far. But patient with their possessions. North Carolina steps into a wide open three. Withers. Oh, he bricked it off the back room. No good. A rebound secured by Michigan State. Target range right there, wide open like shooting practice, and he couldn't convert on it. Jaden Akins sends it off to Walker. Walker laces up a three. Nothing but net. He delivers. That's how you take a three, and you make it right there for the 28-foot J. Nine-point lead for Michigan State. Second made three of the game. They're two for four from the perimeter. Walker's got eight. North Carolina just one for seven from three. Davis takes the three. Bricked off the back room. No good. Battle for the rebound. Tracked down by Michigan State. Here goes Walker up the floor. Walker takes the three. Bang, bang. Oh, he hits it. Tyson Walker, a laser right through the cylinder. It's 26 to 14. Michigan State. Izzo and March follow a tough shot. Ingram, not even close, no good. Ripped away in the glass. Rebound secured by Michigan State. Walker at the wing. He's working on Trimble 101. Eight zip scoring run last minute and 10 plus. Walker sends it outside to Kohler. Kohler at the rim. wing. Handoff Walker rises for the J. 18 footer. Halfway down, no good. Skipped around the rim and out. Rebound secured by UNC. Go to the rim here if you're UNC. Davis drives attacks off the dump off. And we got a foul here on the floor. Picked up. It looks like charge to Michigan State out in transition. Got to get to the rim if you're UNC right now. This is just, just absolutely disgraceful how they started off this game. Jacking up threes. Breaking shots left and right. 11 by Tyson Walker. 14 on the board for North Carolina. Got to wake up if you're the one seed here. Inbound. For UNC, goes out to the top. Ingram sends it off to Ryan. Ryan yet to score so far. Ryan, jumper, mid-range. No good. Around the rim and out. Rebound secured by Michigan State. The Spartans have it up the floor. Hogard at the left wing. Sends it over to Aikens. Away from the basketball. The Tar Heels pick up a personal foul. That's going to be charged to Jalen Withers. Withers has been horrific in this game. Kind of shocked to see him right now in a white and a Carolina blue because he's looking like he should be wearing a jersey that is red and white for him from the previous two seasons. Very, very tough game for him so far with no points picking up another foul. Deflected off the inbound though. North Carolina came up with a steal. And they're going to dribble back out to the perimeter, allowing Michigan State's defense to set up. No points in the last two and a half minutes for UNC. Cudo at the elbow. Cudo dribbles up. Cudo floats up the shot. Cudo got it to go. Plus one at the free throw line for Elliott Cudo. That's a big shot right there. Ten point game and a foul. So he'll shoot one. Able to get Trey Holloman. Off a little bit of shake and bake right there. Good move by Cadeau. One shot by Cadeau at the free throw line, and that's good. Right down the middle. Single digit game here. Michigan State crosses midcourt. AJ Holgard running the point. Sends it off to Aikens. Aikens on the floor with Cooper. 
Trey Holloman's out there as well. And also Malik Hall, the fifth player on the floor. Malik Hall receives the entry pass. Backs his way off the pivot. Hall with possession. He scores right past Withers. Up and off the glass. Horrific game so far by Jalen Withers for North Carolina. An absolute disgrace with his minutes on the floor. Open three. Ingram got one. Harrison Ingram for the wing. Takes it to an eight-point game. Third made it. Three main threes for Michigan State. That's the second one for North Carolina so far. Floater down low. Got it blocked. And North Carolina comes up with a basketball here. Looking to push tempo up the floor. Ingram attacking. Had it poked away from behind. It will stay. UNC ball. So we're under eight left to go. We're going to take a timeout here on the floor. Media timeout right now. 28-20 to 20, Michigan State. Looking like a preseason top five team right now. Against the number one seed in this bracket. 7.34 left to go in the first half as we enter a timeout. These guys right now for UNC needs to start waking up and play more through the post. 8 for 20 shooting. They've attempted 11 twos and they've attempted 9 threes. They're just 2 for 9 from 3 to start off this game. The biggest stat is that they're minus 8 on the glass. 14 to 6. And you got two big dudes on their team. Baycott's got 18 double doubles. You got Ingram, who's averaging nine rebounds. And uh, these two guys today have combined on the glass for just two rebounds right now. Malik Hall's got double the amount of rebounds that Ingram and Baycott have each so far um, in this game combined. Four rebounds by Malik Hall. Ingram and Baycott with just one each. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams. And we're uh, getting closer to 25,000 scrub uh, subs here in the channel. We uh, entered, I think, 35 subscribers away. We're approximately. From 25,000. Incredible. Hey, enjoy the rest of your night, Jeffrey. Thanks for joining in, man. Uh, Dennis, welcome back to the stream. Feel free to hit us up in the chat. Who you guys like tonight for this one here? Michigan State, North Carolina. Type it in. MSU, UNC. First out of two streams tonight. Feel free to join in for Texas versus Tennessee. Later today, UT versus UT. Chris, welcome back on board. He's liking uh, Washington State. Miles Rice over 11.5 points tonight. Best of luck there, man. That should be a good game. Washington State taking on Iowa State. Um, that game's going to tip off any minute from now. Right now. So that's the 7 versus 2 matchup. Oakland against NC State will tip off in around an hour. Uh, yes, I do NBA games. I'm a Celtics fan myself, so I do... Uh, um, a good bulk of the Celtics games when they play when I'm around. But I do other NBA teams too as well, especially during the playoffs. I cover as many potential playoff series as possible when I'm around and have the chance. Usually uh, usually it's like the 7, 7.30 p.m. game I usually do for NBA because I'm on East Coast time. For me, I'm in, um, I'm in Massachusetts, so I'm on East Coast time in the Boston-New York time zone. Yeah, Tennessee's got a bunch of experience for them. They got eight seniors on their roster. I took Tennessee today for that game. I was going back and forth to my bracket, uh, whether it should be Tennessee or Texas, but Texas has been just super inconsistent this season, whereas Tennessee, uh, they kind of left me hanging last game of the season to get destroyed against Mississippi State in the conference tournament. Start to worry a little bit about Tennessee, but I think they're going to pull it together tonight for them, for Tennessee. First tournament game they... They went by their competition rather smoothly, destroying St. Peter's. Two shots coming up here at the free to line now for North Carolina. As we are back from the timeout, looking to pull this game within six if they make both of them. Baycott shooting two. First one is good. And Washington State just tipped off against Iowa State. We'll keep you guys posted with that score um, as long as we stay on live for this game and then I'll be back later tonight for my final stream Texas and Tennessee second free throw by Baycott's right down the middle 
Six point game right now. Michigan State with the ball. Right to left on the floor for the Spartans. And an offensive foul committed by Michigan State. Trey Holloman right at the midcourt logo. Pushed off with a UNC defender as he pushed off on Cano. And this will give North Carolina an opportunity here to start to make a run. Holloman pushes off. Big momentum swing as Holloman checks out of the game. And Tom Izzo right now has to give him a talk. That was a bad, bad offensive foul right there. Pushing off right at the midcourt logo. Bounce pass down low. There's Baycott. He soars up and scores past the MSU defense. Four-point game. Here comes North Carolina. On their seven minutes left to go before halftime. Baycott's got seven. Top of the key, Carson Cooper. Dribbles towards his left. Cooper around the perimeter guarded by Baycott. Cooper, bounce pass, deflected out of bounds. Last touch by Ingram. Loud in the stream, welcome in. Daniel, glad to have you back in, man. Justin, like in Texas tonight, welcome in, man. Inbound here for Michigan State. It goes to Cooper. Cooper passes back outside to the perimeter over to Hogard. Hogard takes this one to the March Madness logo. Dribbles up, drives downhill inside the paint. Blocked off the glass by Baycott. Here goes UNC with it up the floor, down by four. Looking to push this game and in transition, Aikens deflects it on the bounds. So this will stay North Carolina basketball. That's a massive altering block there by Armando Baycott. Hanging right with the driver down low. The inbound goes to Ingram. Ingram top of the key guarded by Hall. Ingram passes off to Baycott around the perimeter. Gets the ball into the hands to Davis. Davis at the left wing. Davis towards his right. Fires off to Ingram. Ingram crossover. Ingram inside. Passes out to Cadeau. Cadeau wide open. Laces up a three. No good off the back iron. And it will be. And over the back picked up here for UNC. So Cormac Ryan picks up the foul. That's now number five. As a team for North Carolina. Actually, Michigan State's got seven. So UNC, rest of the way in this half, will be in a bonus. Potentially double bonus once they pick up ten. Michigan State by four with possession. So we approach six minutes left to go before halftime. Aikens lobs it off to Hall. Deflected out of bounds, though, by Ingram. North Carolina really ramping up the physicality. Right now on the floor. Totally different from how they started off the game where they were super flat to begin. Washington State, by the way, in the first two minutes has a 4-0 lead over Iowa State. Inbound goes to Michigan State. Michigan State on a two-minute plus scoring drought. Hogard at the top. Hogard guarded by Davis. Sends it off to Hall. Hall. Crossover. Five of the shot clock. Hall. Mid-range jumper. No good. Around the rim and out. To rebound secured by Ingram. North Carolina with possession. They look to push it. Top of the key. Wide open three. Ingram. Got the bounce. It's good. Harrison Ingram. We got a one-point game right here. They were down by 10 early on for UNC. They're right back in it. That's a lucky three that they got two. 10-zip run last two and a half minutes. Hogard sends it outside. To Aikens, back into the hands to Hogard, off to Walker. Walker at the left wing. He's guarded by Cadeau, 101. Bounce pass, Cooper, top of the key. Cooper sends it off to the right wing. Jab step here, Hogard. Hogard, shot clock's down to five. Got a launch, shot clock. Down to three, Hogard drives inside the paint. Working on Baycott underneath, and he travels with it. Turnover by Michigan State. Here comes UNC with a chance to take the lead next possession. Ingram with a huge momentum three. Somehow find, found its way. It bounced off the front rim, drifted all the way to the back of the glass, and bounced in. And then Baycott forced Hogard to travel with it. And they had some serious issues against Mississippi State with turnover problems for Michigan State. They got five so far. North Carolina taking much better job of the basketball so far with just two turnovers. Cadeau, top of the key. Cadeau is left with some space out here. He can shoot if he wants, but gives it off to Baycott. Into the hands of Davis. Bounce pass off the roll down off to Baycott. Baycott on their knee. Sends it off to Cadeau outside. Ryan off to Baycott. Brings along a double team. Baycott down low. No good, but Baycott gets fouled. Baycott will have a chance here to take the lead if he makes both of the free throws. So here comes North Carolina. The bigs have to watch out for Michigan State because Baycott's going to be a matchup nightmare down there. They're just going to keep on playing through Baycott. Carson Cooper took a 
Uh, Carson Cooper trying to hang in tough against Baycott, but it was Cooper who picked up the foul. Two shots here by Baycott. Chance to take the lead if he buries both of them. First one ties it. 28-28. 11 zip run for North Carolina. They were down by 12, their largest deficit. It was... I think it was 26-14 to 14 at one point they were trailing. By the way, Washington State leads 7-0 to zero against Iowa State right now. In the first four minutes, Iowa State a no-show to begin the game. Second free throw is good by Baycott. North Carolina on a 12-zip run right now. That was a big momentum swing. The offensive foul that Michigan State pushed off with past midcourts. That was a huge momentum swing in this game, plus the Ingram three. And after that, UNC has a 12-zip run in the last three and a half minutes. Michigan State in trouble now. Hall, hand off the right wing over to Holgard. Holgard, he's defended by Cadeau, 101. Gets past him, dribbles up inside the key. Holgard passes down low off to Sissoko. Sissoko, tough shot, no good. Around the rim and out, rebound. Ripped away by number 13, Jalen Washington. North Carolina, a chance to build a lead right here to 12-zip run. Ingram sends it out to the left wing to Davis. He's been silent recently. Bounce pass in the middle. Able to grab his Washington. Washington sandwich. Kick out corner. Open three, UNC. Off the back room, no good. Rebound secured by Michigan State. Paxton Wojcik had a chance right there. With a wide open corner three, but couldn't convert on the one. Michigan State has been scoreless for the last four and a half minutes. Stuck in molasses here with his offense. Hogard has it at the edge of the March Madness logo. AJ sends it off to Aikens at the left wing. Aikens dribbles up. Crossover. Shot clock down to six. Going deep into their shot clock right now. They're all the way back to the March Madness logo. Walker has the launch. Shot clock down to one. Deep range three. No good off the front rim. Here goes UNC. Three on two. Up the floor in transition. Wojcik. Kick. Quarter. Three. The All-American RJ Davis sinks it. It's a 32-28 lead. And a timeout taken in the floor by Michigan State. RJ with a big time triple. 15 zip run for North Carolina on a three on two in transition. Paxton Wojcik, the transfer from Brown University and Ivy League transfer. Kick out to the corner. RJ Davis, an All American bucket getter. Splash. Big signs of life here for North Carolina. They were down by 12 at one point with nothing going their way. Massive, massive offensive foul that Michigan State committed on the floor with Trey Holloman pushing off at midcourt. And that completely reversed the momentum to UNC. And right now the rest has been history. And Michigan State needs to get their act together to see if they can flip it back. Or this could be a real, real tough game for Michigan State for the rest of of this one. Tyson Walker has 11. After that, 7 by Malik Hall. And then 4 by Sissoko off the bench. North Carolina led by Davis. He's got 10 and he was silent throughout most of that scoring run. But he's a bucket getter. You cannot be able to uh, stop him from time to time. Then he's going to make you pay. And Davis already up to 10. He's made half of the threes, 2 out of the 4 so far. And this is a dude that can drop down 40. On you for R.J. Davis. Baycott has nine. Ingram has six right now. These guys finally started to come alive for UNC. Seven to zip. Washington State leads Iowa State in the first four and a half minutes. We'll keep you guys posted. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell if you'd like to be notified as well. I cover basketball action on the channel here, play by play. College Hoops NBA. I'll be back later tonight covering Texas against Tennessee. So feel free to stop on by if you like as well. As we are around 30 subscribers away from 25,000. So if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to do so. Behind the Arc fan, welcome back in, brother. What a big momentum swing for North Carolina. North Carolina was trailing by 12. They're at a 15 a zip run right now. D Wade, welcome back in, brother. Kyle on the street, welcome in from Mexico on the channel. Glad to have you in. Yeah, I took Iowa State in that game too. Just a sad start for them, but obviously it was a sad start for North Carolina. Down by 12, and here they are up by 4 right now. 
a long, long way to go in this game. 3.16 left to go before halftime. Just resilient how UNC has been. Their threes weren't dropping early on, and now they're starting to make their buckets, and they're pushing tempo and going up the floor fast on Michigan State. Michigan State's trying to slow down the tempo, and early on, Michigan State was slowing down the game, getting high-quality looks, and North Carolina recently has been able to crash the glass, come up with long rebounds, push the tempo, and uh, these guys are smart. They get an Ivy League transfer with Paxton Wojcik from Brown. He just recorded the last assist new on a long rebound that he had a three on two. So he had to go and transition, kick it out to the quarter. And when you get a guy that can score buckets like that in a flash like R.J. Davis, that's how they were able to capitalize in the last possession. 32-28, back from the timeout. Lob over the top, and Sissoko couldn't come up with the alley-oop jam as he missed it off the glass, couldn't handle it cleanly. Davis has it up the floor. RJ lob down low. They're playing through Baycott now. Baycott double team down low. Baycott going up gets fouled. That's going to be the big question mark in this game. Will there be anybody who's able to stop Armando Baycott? They tried Sissoko there. Hall came in late. And Baycott just an absolute force. And they weren't running through Baycott in this game for the most part. But now they're starting to play through Baycott in the offense. 240 left to go. Remaining in the first as we take another timeout. Yeah, the uh, turtle's been doing good, so my uh, tour has been pretty well. Yeah, Gonzaga blew out Kansas. Kansas, they they were historically bad this year for them. It was it was close at halftime, and then second half, just Gonzaga just completely demolished them. 7-4 to four now, Iowa State in a 4-zip run against Washington State. Washington State has the lead. First two games that wrapped up today, Arizona beat Dayton 78-68, to and then Gonzaga won against Kansas 89-68. to Gonzaga outscored Kansas 46-24 to in half two. Um, Oakland plays against NC State. <laughs> It's a 14 versus 11 playing against each other. What everybody was talking about, Texas Tech versus Kentucky. It is Oakland, the 14 seed, taking on NC State, the 11 seed. So there'll be three more, uh, three or four. There's four more games later tonight that's yet to star. Oakland versus NC State. Texas versus Tennessee, which I'll be back for my final stream tonight covering Texas versus Tennessee. And then Duquesne versus Illinois. And then I release my schedule for tomorrow. Um, I plan on covering three games for tomorrow. First one will take place at 12.10 p.m. between Colorado and Marquette. Second one will be James Madison versus Duke. And then the third one will be Texas A&M versus Houston for tomorrow. So feel free to join in. Triple header for tomorrow for the streams. I, I wish I could cover Grand Canyon versus Alabama, but I really want to cover James Madison versus Duke. And uh, both of those games overlap, so I took Texas A&M versus Houston instead for tomorrow. Either way, I think that both of those schools sep are separated by 100 miles. That should be a good one. That's going to be physical, like an absolute bloodbath tomorrow. Texas A&M versus Houston. It's like a rivalry game. Um, James Madison against Duke. The James Madison Dukes taking on Duke, the Duke Blue Devils. In Colorado, we'll see if they eliminate Marquette once again in round two. Shaka Smart trying to get over the hump and make a uh, second weekend for the first time in forever. Hey, what's good? Charles in the street. Welcome in, man. Glad to have you back in. Two forty left to play. Yep, we are about thirty subscribers away from twenty five thousand subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so. North Carolina shooting two shots now at the free throw line. First one is good by Baycott. Thirty three twenty eight. This is part of a sixteen to zip run by North Carolina. Second free throw is good. North Carolina with their largest lead up by six. Michigan State in a lot of trouble right now. North Carolina, 17-0 scoring run after trailing down by 12 at one point in this game. Tyson Walker 
Lobs it off to Malik Hall. Hall backs his way to the low block. Sends it outside to Sissoko. Almost wasn't paying attention right there. But into the hands to Walker. Walker at the top of the key. Dribbles up now. Walker slices defenders. Floats to the shot. Gets tripped up and fouled. And Tyson Walker able to get up on the floor. Good to see he was in a little bit of pain. And Baycott, though, signaling challenge for him. So Baycott wants a challenge as he was signaling challenge on the floor. Let's see. Walker driving. Not much contact. Really not much contact right there. Wow. Baycott got called in an early fall in this game too. So that's going to be number two. Charge to Baycott. Really not much contact. No. No and no. Baycott didn't even touch him. Baycott was playing excellent defense. Walker stumbled on his own. And the referee has called the foul on Baycott. So that's a critical call right there by the officials. Tyson Walker will shoot two at the free to line. And he missed the first one. A lot of misses here by Michigan State at the free throw line. They're just three for six on free throws today. North Carolina, eight for nine. I mean, you got to win the game at the free throw line. It's definitely not Michigan State deserving it right now. And this one, second free throw is good. So that stops a 17 zip scoring drought from happening. 34 29. Just above two minutes left to go before halftime. North Carolina with the ball. Whoa, check. Lobs it over to Baycott. They're playing through Baycott recently. Top of the key, Ingram. Moves it out to Wojcik at the corner. Cormac Ryan takes the three. Got it to go. Cormac Ryan knocks down a triple. They're making their threes right now. They are sizzling for UNC. Hall at the top. Dribbles towards his left. Part of a 20-1 to run by the Tar Heels in the last six-plus minutes. Michigan State has a deep two jumper. Connects on it. Jaden Akins buries down the jumper for the deep two. Six-point game, minute and a half, just above remaining before halftime. North Carolina is going to slow down tempo. Cado puts the ball into the hands of the bait cut on top. It goes to Ingram. Ingram moves it out to his right off to Ryan. Just made a three back out to the top. Ingram slides it off to Cado. Dare me to shoot the three, and he missed it. Around the rim and out. He was wide open at the left corner. Almost went in, too. It went around the rim and spun out. Michigan State down by six with a driving downhill. Blocked by Baycott. Here goes North Carolina out of transition. They got numbers up the floor. Ryan slices defenders and lost it on the bounds. Great defense getting back right there by Michigan State. I thought that Ryan was going to have a layup attempt blocked, but... Instead, he just lost it by himself. Baycott with a massive block there off the glass. Baycott so far has recorded two total blocks now. Third as a team for UNC. Michigan State with just one. Six-point game, final minute left to go before halftime. North Carolina with some serious momentum entering half. Michigan State not so much. If you're Michigan State, you need to make a big bucket, preferably a three. Right now in the final 45 seconds to uh, get your team a little bit of momentum back into this game. Because they got nothing. Here's a three. Akins. No good. Bricked off the back heel. Rebound secured by Wojcik. You can take this clock all the way down and make it a five second difference. And North Carolina will decide to burn a timeout here. So UNC will take their first timeout in the game. There's a five second differential between shot clock and game clock to close out going to halftime. 28 seconds left to go before halftime. 23 in the game clock. Or 28 on the game clock, 23 in the shot clock. So five different, five second differential. We take the timeout. Yeah, Paxton Wojcik has been huge right now. Two rebounds, two assists off the bench. He had a massive assist that led to the corner three by Davis. Davis has 10. Baycott's got 11. These two guys are cooking right now. Six by Ingram, three each made by Cadeau and Ryan, and then twos off the bench by Trimble and Washington. Michigan State has Tyson Walker with 12. They just got to get other guys going. Walker's got 12, seven by Hall, four by Sissoko. Hogard today with just two assists to three turnovers. Hogard was excellent against Mississippi State in the first game and today struggling with turnover issues we come back from the timeout here final 25 seconds there's a five second differential shot clock to game clock to close out going to halftime michigan state led as many by 12 north carolina led as many by 10 they're on a 20 to 1 run 
Cadeau moves it outside. Here's a three. Take it at the wing. They got it. UNC buries the three. Catching fire for Harrison Ingram. 40 to 31 right now. North Carolina couldn't get a shot off in time. Right before the buzzer. Oh, they got all the momentum with them. The Tar Heel Blue loving what they do as they go with a halftime on a major run. Great pass by Kudo. Ingram's feeling it from three lately. And Ingram with a big time splash drilling the triple from the perimeter. First half through. North Carolina the one seed. Stormed all the way back trailing by 12. They lead by nine. Super impressive final 10 minutes there for North Carolina. Like, these guys are incredibly resilient, what they did. Like, they they didn't panic. They knew that they were in trouble. And after Hubis, Hubert Davis ripped them uh, during the timeout huddle, they got things together, and uh, they really came together. And Wow, this, this really shows something about this North Carolina squad right now. Everything has been able to come together at the... Right time possible for UNC as they were in deep trouble to begin this game. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell as well. I'm going to switch over to uh, Washington State against Iowa State right now. Washington State, their first NCAA tournament appearance since 2008. They came back and beat Drake on Thursday, and now they're up against Iowa State early on. Iowa State having a lot of issues. Iowa State's got a channel there in their UNC in uh, that first half and make their way and come on back. Oakland going to tip off in around 40 minutes against NC State. That's a 14 versus 11 matchup. Fourteen to six, Washington State in the first 11 minutes. Iowa State has 6 points in 11 minutes. What in the world has happened to Iowa State? Yikes. That's just sad right there for Iowa State. Their, their offense all of a sudden looks like it's last year's team that they couldn't score. Like how in the world are you struggling against Washington State? Finally, Iowa State made something. 14-8 now to score. So there was a big momentum swing in this game. Uh, North Carolina was up by 12, and then Trey Holloman pushed off, crossing midcourt. And that was the big momentum swing right there. It gave North Carolina the basketball back after the offensive fall. And then after that, they were... Putting in points and spurts. This Washington State team's the tallest team in the nation. Yeah, their their size probably has to do with um, Iowa State struggling so far in this game. Yeah, one, one thing that I'm puzzled about for Michigan State defensively in this game is that they're letting Elliot Cadeau open on threes. He's made, he hasn't made a three yet though. He's one for four from the floor for Cadeau, but he's got a couple, couple threes that spun around the rim and out that really would uh, make this game a blowout if he had been hitting those threes. So they're allow, allowing Cadeau to take wide open shots. From the perimeter. They're really lucky that the shots haven't gone in so far. Because right now UNC is catching fire with a couple other guys. Davis has made two threes. Ingram's the one that's on fire. Ingram's perfect. Three for three from three. So far for Harrison Ingram. Like that's that's massive there. You got you got a front court guy, six foot eight, that's perfect from three. 
so far. That's that's just big there for UNC. You don't see that too much in college that you have like a six foot eight dude that's just catching lightning from the perimeter for him. Pringle, welcome in. Thanks for joining in. Just going to bring up some of the percentages right now. So, Davis is shooting 41% from three. He's averaging three three-point makes per game. He's made two out of the four attempts so far. Ingram shooting 37% from three. That's pretty darn good for a six foot eight for a front court guy. He's averaging 12, nine. Uh, he's averaging 12 and nine this year for points and rebounds and shooting 37% from three for a sophomore. That's That's impressive. I would think those numbers that he's shooting at should put him more like higher on draft boards there. It's a transfer from Stanford. Um, Oakland in that game coming up against NC State. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go NC State right there. Just what what a story for Oakland. Like, uh, <laughs> NC State looks like they've just caught lightning in a bottle. All of a sudden, like they remind me of like Oregon State from 2021, that Elite Eight run, like just come out of nowhere for a team like that. I remember Oregon State because they played Oklahoma State, I believe, in the Sweet 16. And all of us thought Oklahoma State was going to the Elite Eight. That was with Kate Cunningham that year. And Oregon State comes in, they beat Oklahoma State. These guys were making shots that were like... So difficult to make. They were red hot. They weren't missing at any point. Like all these random guys. And then the following year, they brought back most of those players. And they went 3-28 and for Oregon State. They, It was like they were robots just making shots. It was like... It was crazy. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of points there now. For uh, Oakland against NC State. Pastor, welcome to the stream, man. Oh boy, behind the arc fans got F1 over in Australia right now. Yeah, I guess they're not showing the tournament games over there. Cormac Ryan, he's only shooting 34% from three. I feel like he's been shooting around like 40s throughout most of his career, though. He played at Notre Dame before. That was that sharp shooting team they made the tournament a couple years ago. I think it was two years ago. They beat, they beat Rutgers in the playing game for Notre Dame. That was wild. That that went into overtime, I believe, that playing game. And then they beat Alabama in the first round for Notre Dame. They lost against Texas Tech in round two for them, but it was close. Yeah, I like NC State today to pick up that one. What, what a story with Oakland, but at NC State, like... They got me vibes of, like, Oregon State from the Elite Eight run from 2021 for them. Like, a team that's come out of nowhere all of a sudden. Fourteen to ten right now as Iowa State is down by four. They're cutting into the Washington State deficit. Washington State finally gets a tip in. They were scoreless for the last three and a half minutes. D. Wade with a dono. Let's get that dono here on the stream for D. Wade. You the legend, brother. Thanks so much, man. We are 30 subscribers away from 25K starting off this stream. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, or ring that notification bell as well. And I'll also be back covering Texas versus Tennessee later tonight. So if you'd like to uh, join in for Texas versus Tennessee later tonight, feel free to do so. I actually never knew that until now that there was one of those um, hearts. Um, or uh, thumbs up emojis right there. So I just clicked that for my man. So uh, got you right there, D-Wade. Yeah, they have a... Uh, recently, they put in, like, emojis that you can send in the chat. Um, heart emojis, haha, 100% that they got. And now they got it over on the side on Super Chat, which is awesome. So that's the first time I've noticed that right there. Joanne, welcome back in. 
Hope all uh, is going well with the move right there. So I was actually out the first um, part of today. Um, so me and my girlfriend, we've been, we have been we went to our first open house today. So during the summer, we're trying to see if we can get a place together, hopefully. So today we went to our first open house. Um, and by the time when summer comes around or so, we're going to see if we could be able to get something. But it was good just to like look around and uh, be able to see like what's around and stuff. I'm going to take Tennessee in that game. Texas has been struggling with inconsistency this year. Um, Texas started off, I have it in my notes. I think it was, they, they had one loss in their first 10 games for them. They started off, a, okay, so they started off 11-2 and two for Texas. And then ever since they've been 10-10, and 10, they came into the tournament at 9-10 and 10 for Texas. So they're just super inconsistent for them. Um, Tennessee's got a bunch of experience. Tennessee's got eight seniors. Texas is five. I was leaning towards Texas, honestly, at first. They got the talent to do so. They got um, Max A. Smith, who played at Oral Roberts, who upset Ohio State and made a Sweet 16 run as a 15 seed. Lonely Satellite with a dono. Let's get that dono hype for Lonely Satellite. Really appreciate it. So, uh... They have the talent to do so. They have the experience from last year's Elite 8 team. It's just the the team hasn't really gelled this year for Texas. In Tennessee, they've advanced around later every single year for them, um, for Tennessee. So they were bounced out round of 64 in 2021, round of 32, 2022. Last year, they beat Duke on its way to the Sweet 16. I should have took notes on that because they're probably going to get to the Elite Eight for Tennessee. I had, a, uh, I had them losing against Creighton in the uh, Sweet 16. I So after Creighton got eliminated last year, I, I wrote down on a notepad, uh, pick these guys for next year to the Final Four because they lost by one in the Elite Eight for Creighton. It was heartbreaking how they lost that game. They have a bunch of seniors in their team. They were all coming back. They did lose Ryan Nemhard to Gonzaga, which they got Steven Ashworth from Utah State, but I I think they got a good chance if they get past, past Tennessee in that bracket there. I think they got a good chance for Creighton to uh, have a chance. They would also have to get past Purdue, it looks like, out of that bracket, unless Utah State somehow pulls off the upset there. Yeah, Rick Barnes has struggled in March. Re recently, his teams have gotten better, but they they have struggled. Two years ago, they lost against Michigan. They were, I think they were a three seed. Two years ago, Michigan was the eleven. Yep, Michigan was the eleven. Michigan, because everybody was complaining that Michigan shouldn't even be in the tournament. The last time they went to the tournament, and uh, Michigan beat Tennessee. That that was a big upset there. Michigan got this super favorable draw in the first round that year. They faced Colorado State. And Colorado State had David Roddy. He was the tallest player on the team at 6'6". And they were like the worst rebounding team in all of college basketball two years ago. Michigan was the best. So Michigan won that game. And then Michigan upset Tennessee in round two. And the year before, uh, Tennessee lost against or Oregon State. As a five seed, Oregon State had this wild run to the Pac-12 championship, and they won the championship, and then they made it to the Elite Eight. That was the year that Georgetown made it to the tournament with a losing record. Oh man, we're we're three three years removed from Patrick Ewing and Georgetown making the tournament with a losing record. Somehow they won the Big East tournament in 2021, and. I actually picked them to win their first round game. I forgot who it was. And I, I remember the streams leading up to Georgetown winning. I was like, no, I will not pick Georgetown to ever win a tournament game. Oh, they got seeded up against Colorado, I think. Colorado blew them out. Because Colorado barely had any road wins that year. So I, I took Georgetown because Colorado could not win on the road. And Colorado blew them out. Yep, good old Georgetown. 
Iowa State starting to make this a game right now. 21 to 19, Washington State with 4:15 left in the first. Michigan State most recently when they've got bounced out, it's been against the Blue Bloods out of the ACC. So they got bounced out in the second round against Duke. And that's the last time they lost the second round game. Let's see, gonna bring up Izzo. Izzo is uh seventeen and nine all time in second round games. Just gonna see exactly like when that was that they Boss to Duke. Oh, 2022. They beat Davison. That's right. They beat Davison in the first round. That was uh, that team with Hung Jung Lee on the team for Davison. The, the storylines going into that one was crazy. Foster Lawyer had transferred over to Davison, used to play in Michigan State. There's always like a transfer that they put in a first round matchup. Last year was Bryce Hopkins in Providence against Kentucky, and then this year was Jermaine Kuznard for Oregon against South Carolina, and he he put down forty against his former team. That should be a really good game tonight, Oregon and Creighton, because Oregon's caught fire. And it's uh, head coach Dana Altman. He's taken on his former team. He used to coach for Creighton. And it's Oregon versus Creighton. And then Rick Barnes for Tennessee used to coach for Texas. And he's playing, uh, facing Texas tonight. There's some good matchups there. Oh, yeah, that was unbelievable. So Somebody a couple months ago posted a graphic on Twitter with the starting lineups with... Um, Zion, R.J. Barrett, Cam Reddish, Trey Jones, and then Michigan State had Xavier Tillman. Nick Ward was on that team. Cassius Winston. That was unbelievable, that game, the Elite Eight. I think that was all-time the best ever stream that I've done on the channel. And that was my first year of streaming. I, I had, like, 100 subscribers during that game. That was my first, like, that was that was only the third month of my channel existing. Yeah, super low scoring for uh, Washington State and Iowa State. I think we're going to have to get back into this game in just a moment. Yeah, so I'm going to put up the second here because we're going to be a couple minutes before... I remember Michigan State, that year that they made it all the way to the Final Four in 2019, they struggled with Bradley in the first round. They were down They were down against the 15th seed, the Bradley Braves, and they came back and they won. Two of those Final Four teams almost lost that year in the first round. Auburn won by one against New Mexico State in the opening round game in 2019. Yeah, that was my first tournament that I did. I remember I streamed Murray State against Marquette and Ja Morant. Ja Morant shredded Marquette in that game. He had this wild behind-the-back pass or so to one of his teammates. It was unbelievable. I remember a bunch of people took Yale for uh, the first round in 2019 because LSU had a bunch of like issues. Uh, Will, Will Wade was the head coach. They had like a bunch of issues going into that game with whether they'd be like tournament eligible or so for LSU. Yeah, that's that's going to be a great game tonight. Oregon against Creighton.
yeah, who, whoever wins that game has a le legitimate shot at Purdue. And also, they'd have to get past Tennessee first, most likely. Whoever wins Tennessee, Texas. Uh, ben Simmons, LSU. That was after Ben Simmons. Because he was 2016. That was like 2019. Yeah. Gonzaga's going to have the first crack at Purdue, though. That's going to be a good game. But Purdue has to get past Utah State first. Utah State has uh, two really big guys in the team right there. Yeah, back-to-back -back years for the Ivy. I'm going to I'm gonna make sure to write that down next year, whoever wins the Ivy. Princeton once again, or maybe we'll see Harvard, Brown. Whoever wins the Ivy got a good chance there to knock off their first-round opponent. There's only a couple coaches not to pick against in the first round. You've got a really good first-round track record. Michigan State's one of them. Tom Izzo, Michigan State, Dana Altman in Oregon, Mark Few in Gonzaga. Those are the guys that you don't want to pick against in the first round, no matter who the opponent is. I, I learned that the hard way because um, I picked McNeese State in the first round, and yeah, they, they look like last year's Oral Roberts. Such an overhyped team that didn't do anything in the bracket. I don't think a Southland team has ever won, ever, an NCAA tournament game. Alright, so uh, we're about to start the second half of action. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell, and here we go. North Carolina with some serious momentum right now, starting off in the second half. They were down by 12 to begin. Things are actually getting really windy outside too, so for some reason if the stream stops, it's because I lost power, so fingers crossed. I'm um, hoping not to lose power during the stream, but in case my uh, stream for some reason goes black or doesn't uh, just goes buffering, that means I have lost power. We start off, the, start off the second half of action. Jumper mid-range, no good. Missed off the mark by Holgard. Aikens got rejected by Cadeau. Ball bouncing around to the corner. Hall able to pick it up, though. Bounce pass out to the wing. Aikens slides it on top. Holgard takes the three. Bricked off the back rim. Rebound secured by Baycott. Three misses on that possession there for Michigan State. North Carolina this season has a record of 19-2 and when leading at halftime. Cadeau. Gives it over to Davis at the top of the key. R.J. Davis sends it over to Cormac Ryan into the hands now. Low post to Baycott. Baycott underneath. Kick out corner. Open three. Ryan. Rainbow. Splash. He delivers. The threes dropping their way right now for UNC. Michigan State on the opposite side. 3-11 record when they've trailed at halftime this season. Top of the key, A.J. Hogard. Hogard dribbles up free throw circle. Hogard. Moves it back outside to Walker. Walker at the right wing. Crossover dribbles down low. Walker, that's a tough drive. He scores up and then off the backboard. 10-point game right now. North Carolina has it up the floor. Cadeau sends it on top off the to Baycott. Puts the ball into the hands to Davis. Davis off the screen. Takes the three. Off the mark. Misfired. Rebound secured here for Michigan State. Michigan State in the first minute and a half. Down by 10. Got to get something here if they want to come on back in this one. Malik Hall backs his way off the pivot. Right pass. Ingram scores off the glass. Good for two. Eight-point game right now. Getting inside down low for MSU. Top of the key, Harrison Ingram. He has yet to miss a three today. Perfect three for three from the perimeter. Baycott brings along a double team. Swings it on top. A wide open three. Ingram. Oh, he cannot miss. Bang, bang. Top of the key. He rips down another three for Ingram. 46-35, fourth main triple the game. He's got 12 for the transfer from Stanford. Cooper, hand off to Holgard. Holgard at the top. Holgard, dribble drive, swings that left wing. Wide open three. They take it, and they make it. Jaden Akins from the perimeter sizzles down the triple. Eight-point game currently. Just above 17, 17 and a half left to go. Eight main threes by UNC, four main threes by Michigan State, Ingram sends it on top. A wide open three, Cado. No good, he bricked it. He is completely wide open right there. Michigan State is lucky that he has yet to make one so far today with Elliott Cado. Hogard has it at the right wing, sends it on top. Here's a three, another one's good by Akins. It's a five-point game right now. Jaden Akins 
Gen and his team right back in this one. UNC driving downhill to the rim. Cormac Ryan, no good. A lot of contact, no call for the referees. Here goes Michigan State. Part of a 10-3 run for the Spartans. Outside, Malik Hall tries a three. And no good off the rim. Tipped over to Ryan. Dangerous pass to Cadeau. They got numbers up the floor here. Davis blows past the feather right to the cut. Floats of the runner. No good off the front rim. Rebound secured for Michigan State here. And they will look to push it as well. Hogart attacking downhill over Baycott. Missed a shot. Bouncing around. Cooper comes up with the offensive rebound. At the corner, Walker gives it over to Cooper, and the referees blow the whistle here away from the basketball. And the court crew has to clean up as there's a sweaty spot inside the paint right now. Uh, nobody committed a foul there. It's just a dangerous spot, according to the officials, that it's a sweaty spot underneath the rim, so the court crew had to come up. Joe, welcome in, man. Yeah, um... Uh, Basically, the big two have been Auburn losing to Yale and then Kentucky losing to Oakland. So that's been the two massive upsets that we've seen in the bracket. Inbound here for Michigan State. They take it a distance with a layup score by Trey Holloman. And he really wants to be much better than how he played in the first half. He had that offensive foul where he pushed off on for Holloman. Really gave, gave North Carolina all the momentum. Halftime, by the way, between Washington State and Iowa State. The score is tied up at 27. Dump off. Down low. Baycott missed the first one. Got it back in on the tipping, though. RJ Davis. Nice dump off right there to Baycott. Resilient possession for two. 48-45 as Michigan State dribble drive down low. Scores the bucket in the foul. We get a game here, folks. Three-point game currently. Attacking downhill to the rim. North Carolina's defense wasn't set back. And Jaden Aiken start a takeover for Michigan State off the floater. Gutted to go and one. Coming up after the timeout for Aikens. 48-45. Going to be a good one to the wire right now. Jaden Aikens on to another level with his motor on the floor. He's got 10. Just made his fourth field goal of the game. Holgard having a tough game out there today with just three points, four assists, three turnovers, shooting one for eight. Thirteen by Armando Baycott, twelve by Ingram, ten by Davis so far today. Yeah, Kansas just not showing up against Gonzaga. Yeah, my bracket's been kind of rough. Had a lot of faith in uh, New Mexico and McNeese State, and that hasn't looked so well for me. Especially in the New Mexico one. I thought Clemson was going to be a one-and-done from the brackets. Honestly, that I, I don't know what's going to happen in that game tomorrow. Clemson against Baylor. That's, that's going to be a bunch of points in it for, for tomorrow's game. Not not so much defense, I feel like. Baylor's got the guard play, though. Baylor's got the guard play. Clemson's got the front court. Washington State tied up at the half against Iowa State. 27-27 right now. That would be a big upset if Washington State wins that game. And that's because Iowa State's playing basically a home game. They're playing in, over, in Omaha, which is like two hours away for Iowa State. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell as well if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams on the channel. Yeah, that one's going to have like no defense in it tomorrow, Clemson against Baylor. Um, how will Illinois do? I think Illinois should be able to win that game. That that would be stunning there if they lose against Duquesne later tonight. They're the, they're the biggest point spread uh, favorites tonight for Illinois, so they're a 10.5 point favor against Duquesne.
Just going to pin in a new chat here uh, for you guys in just a moment as we come back to action right now. 48-45. It's quite windy where I am. We got a really bad storm today with like 3-4 inches of rain, so it's been picking up um, as of recently the winds are so. So for some reason I do lose power, hoping not, then unfortunately wouldn't be able to cover the rest of the game, but trying to get through tonight's streams without any issues, hopefully, fingers crossed. Good on the two by Harrison Ingram, back from the timeout as UNC leads 52-46. Michigan State made the free throw at the line right before the made jumper by Ingram. Michigan State with possession now. Just above 15-20 left to go. Off the handoff to Akins. Passes outside to Holloman. Trey Holloman, right wing perimeter, gets around. Trimble, jumper, mid-range, off the back rim. No good. Tipped around to the perimeter. North Carolina has it. Off to Davis. Davis up the floor. Davis at the left wing perimeter. And we got a turnover. Wow. So RJ Davis got it stripped. And then one foot was out of bounds down the near side. As let's see here, Davis. Oh yeah, he he shuffled backwards and one of his feet touched the the side. That's only the third turnover of the game for UNC. They they've done an excellent job today taking care of the basketball. Six turnovers by Michigan State. Michigan State had like 15 in the open against Mississippi State. Missed shot for the deep two there by the Spartans. Rebound secure for UNC. Step back three in the air. Davis takes it off the back heel. No good. Offensive rebound directly back to Baycott. Into the hands to Davis here. Davis dribbles up to the right wing. Davis crossover. Gets around Holloman. Davis floats up the runner. Over the top. He's got it good for two. 52 to 46. UNC. It's RJ. Who's able to float down the runner. 12 points now for RJ Davis. 5 for 11 from the floor for the All-American. Handoff goes to Aikens. Aikens step back. 18 footer straight away. Came off the rim short. Hall collects the offensive rebound. Malik Hall powers his way down low. And we'll have a foul on the floor here. Picked up charge to North Carolina. Now we'll stop the clock with 14-11. What's good? Scratch and sniff. Welcome back in. Thanks for joining in. Um, so... Unfortunately, I won't have the Oregon Creighton one. I'm going to be doing Tennessee versus Texas later tonight. So final stream will be Tennessee versus Texas later today. I'll be back tomorrow. I plan on covering a triple header for tomorrow. Colorado versus Marquette to open up the day. After that will be Duke against James Madison. And North Carolina steps out of bounds to the baseline here. Trying to tiptoe the baseline. So this will go back to UNC. That's turnover number seven, Tyson Walker. Try to go down the baseline off the dribble, but stepped out of bounds. So uh, Colorado versus Marquette, Duke versus James Madison, and there was a third one as well in that grouping. Texas A&M against Houston for tomorrow is the third. Baycott backs his way on, the, on Jackson Kohler. Baycott over Kohler, no good. Baycott gets followed, though, by Jackson Kohler. So Baycott will shoot two now at the free to line. Clock will stop, 13.44 left to play. Yeah, Big Ten's having some issues. That's been recently in the past. The Big Ten's had big issues. Yeah, a lot of people haven't really talked about Big Ten struggling too because it's basically been the SEC having a lot of issues and then uh, Texas A&M destroying Nebraska yesterday and then Alabama with a big win over Charleston. So SEC has got three teams left with Tennessee, A&M, and Alabama. And yeah, it's been a lot of issues over there in the Big Ten with uh, trying to advance teams. That was, I, I I was super confident on that James Madison pick. Second free throw is good. I, I streamed James Madison when they beat Arkansas State, and James Madison just looked super fast up the floor. They were drilling NBA-level type shots, and that was the case yesterday. Wisconsin hasn't really been known for their athleticism for them. They're usually um, just more of like a slower tempo type of team, but they don't really like wow you athletically for them to pass off the roll down. Get that out of there. Huge rejection by North Carolina. Set Trimble as he stuffs Jackson Kohler at the rim. Here goes North Carolina. Trimble hands it off to Ingram. Outside Trimble. Lob goes to Baycott. Baycott brings along a double team. Baycott backs his way to one-on-one -on -one now as he's defended by Kohler. Baycott working on Kohler underneath. Dump off down low. Deflected. Basketball into the hands to Ingram. Chases it back. 10 on the shot clock. Into the hands here are Davis. That was almost a botched possession there for UNC. Davis thinking about the step back. Dribble drive instead. Davis going to strip. Stole away. Tyson Walker with the steal. And he's able to get the layup for two. 
Big momentum swing right there. It's a five-point game. 53-48. Tyson Walker saving this team right now for Sparty. He's got 16 out of the 48. Davis at the right wing. Draws a double team. Pass off to Baycott. Wide open. Jumper. Swoosh. Oh, it's too easy. You cannot leave Armando Baycott off the roll down that open. 16 by Baycott. Michigan State with a possession. Hogard at the top of the key. Moves now to the right wing. The big fella's going to shoot a three. Xavier Booker. Bang, bang. Oh, he takes it and makes it. He can shoot threes. Number 34, a 6 foot 11 freshman just ripped one in for Michigan State. Top of the key, Trimble sends it outside. No look pass, Ingram, quarter three. Missed off the mark over the cylinder by Ryan. Here goes Michigan State pushing, tempo blocked. Another rejection by Seth Trimble as he denies A.J. Hogard with a lay of motion at the rim. Here goes Ryan to the rim and Ryan gets fouled. Two free throws coming up here for North Carolina with Cormac Ryan, Seth Trimble. Back-to-back -back blocks in the last three minutes for him on the floor. Coming up big. Two blocks by Tremble in a three-minute span. We should have a tie game right now, but instead, Tremble's defense allowing North Carolina to lead by four. What a game. So we take a timeout on the court with under 12 left to play. Set Tremble coming up major defensively. 11.46 left to go. So we're in the proper time right now. Yeah, no problem. Feel free to stop on by when you guys would like right there. Major, major rejections. If you're doing the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring that notification bell if you'd like to be notified here for future live streams. And what an intense game we got. Two blue bloods going at it right now. The one seed against the nine seed, a four and a half point favorite for UNC in the line in this game, and looked like all the momentum was going with them into halftime. And Michigan State's actually outscored North Carolina now 20 to 15 in the second half. This has been a roller coaster of a game. North Carolina was down by 12 to begin this game. It was uh, it was I think it was 26 to 14 at one point, and then. And then North Carolina went on a 23 to 1 run to enter halftime. UNC led by 9 at the break, 40 to 31. The largest lead has been UNC by 12. And then Michigan State has come on back and they trail by 4. But the difference maker being two blocked layups by Seth Trimble for North Carolina. Yeah, this could very well easily be a tie game. Those blocks by Trimble have been massive. UNC has six blocks today. Baycott with two, Trimble with two, and then a block each by Cadeau and Ryan. Michigan State has just one block as a team. Yeah, that's awesome. Dusty May going to Louisville. Uh, I really like that right there. That's That's great if that happens for you, man. What, what he did was amazing last year at FAU. E even though they got bounced out in overtime uh, this year, I mean, FAU doesn't have the facilities close to what like the other Power 5 schools have. So, that would just be a really good pickup if they're able to get it. Uh, by the way, the wind keeps on picking up where I am right now. So, just hoping to get through these streams with no issues. LCS, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining in. Yep, they got halftime right now, uh, Washington State and Iowa State, and it is a tie game at 27. Iowa State was trailing early on. They were down 7 to zip to begin that game. Just absolutely historic programs here. 53 NCAA tournament appearances for UNC, 37 for Michigan State. 21 Final Fours for North Carolina with 6 national championships. Michigan State with 10 Final Fours, last one the championship for... Uh, for Tom Izzo over 20 years ago at Michigan State. Cormac Ryan going to head to the free to line. Back from the timeout here. Shooting two for North Carolina. Both teams with two personal fouls right now in the second half. First one's good by Ryan. I'll be back later tonight. Fingers crossed for uh, Texas versus Tennessee. Unless I do lose power. NC State out to a quick lead against Oakland 7-2. Yeah, we had like three, three or four inches of rain today fall down there was actually snow up in new hampshire 
So it's a, it's late March, and there was snow like up in New Hampshire and Vermont today. Both of the free throws good. Six-point lead. Michigan State with a possession. Hall sends it off around the perimeter to Hogard. Hogard sends it over to a Booker. Booker made a massive three a couple minutes ago. Booker hands it off to Aikens. Aikens at the elbow dribbles back out to the top of the key. Jaden Aikens crossover drives on Ingram inside the paint. Aikens tough shot off the glass. No good. Tipped off the back rim out of bounds. And it's off of Aikens last to Michigan State. And this will be UNC basketball with 11-18 left. Yeah, it's around this time that Kim English took the PC job. The tournament was like a, like a week before it started, I feel like. It was earlier last year to where it started this year. North Carolina with possession. Davis, his pass deflected, intercepted here for North, for North Carolina. They had it intercepted by Holloman, and his pass ahead. They couldn't get anything out of that for Michigan State. UNC lucky. Baseline dribble. Davis looking to redeem himself. Missed the layup as he blew it. Back-to-back -back opportunities for RJ, but Michigan State with a chance here to see if they can cut it. They're lucky that they weren't able to convert and transition the last possession. Holloman running the point, slides it out to the left wing. Bounce pass goes to Hall down at the low block. Hall's working on Baycott 101 down low. Malik Hall, and he's able to get Baycott to pick up the shooting foul. So two free throws coming up here at the line for Malik Hall for Michigan State. Baycott in a little bit of foul trouble right now. Just picked up his third of the game. So Baycott's got three. No, he's... Actually, my ESPN graphics got one. I feel like it was three. They, may... they might have rescinded one earlier for him. So it's got two. Okay, now it's upgraded to two. So he's actually got two. So he's got two right now. Yeah, it went really well uh, for the open house. There was like a bunch of people there today. And it, it, it figures because it was raining. So first one was good by Malik Hall at the free to line. Second shot is good. Four point game right now. Ten and a half left to play. North Carolina looking to advance. Winner of this one would take on a winner of Grand Canyon versus Alabama. Baycott sends it across the floor off to Jalen Withers. They got some minus minutes out of Jalen Withers today, looking to see if he can be an improvement in the final 10-15. Kick out to the corner. Pass was deflected out of bounds. Touched by the Spartans. They're stuck a little bit offensively now for UNC. They got to get back into their rhythm offensively. A little bit... A little bit of a miscommunication lately. Lob able to snatch it was Witters falling down. And that's a bad shot. As he goes out of bounds. What was that? He was trying to come up and uh, get get a foul call there. And he was leaning backwards and had to float up a shot for Jalen Witters. The shot clock was winding down. But still, I mean, just get your balance in check right there if you're Jalen Witters. Here we go. Midway through the second half. Ten more minutes left to go in a four-point game between two Blue Bloods. Michigan State with possession. Crossover by Holloman. Dribbles towards his left. Oh, that's a big U. Missed the mark in the pass. There was nobody there as he sent it to the wrong bench. It's a turnover. That's crushing. If Michigan State loses this game, it's going to be cut be because of turnovers. And once again, Tom Izzo pulls out Trey Holloman, and he's been just a major minus on the floor today for Michigan State. Again, Izzo has to have a talk with Holloman. Like, you cannot be doing that in an NCAA tournament game, man. Nine turnovers now by Michigan State, five by UNC. Davis, towards his right, outside finds Ingram. Into the hands to Davis. Davis has it. Edge of the March Madness logo. Davis dribbles up. Drives. Dump off inside the paint. No good. Opportunity wasted there by Baycott. Oh, that's another big U. Michigan State couldn't handle the ball properly off the rebound as it goes out of bounds off of Malik Hall's knee. Two opportunities for Michigan State. This should be at least a tie game right now, you would think, but no. 10 turnovers for the Spartans. Just 5 by UNC. North Carolina 
gets the inbound off the Baycott. 12 points off of those Michigan State turnovers. North Carolina scored today. Davis at the right wing. Davis dribbles inside. Davis gives it off the Baycott. Shot clock down to 10. Hand off Davis. Launches a three. Open up the bank right there. Bang, bang for the All-American. R.J. Davis banks home a three. 60-53 UNC. 15 points now by Davis. Big time at bank as they hit all glass. Top of the key, Walker. Walker dribble drive up to the elbow. Swings it outside to Hall. Hall drives inside the paint. Hall fall away. Tough shot over. Ingram connects on it. It's a big shot right there by Malik Hall. 13 now by Hall tonight. North Carolina with possession. Davis has it at the March Madness M of the logo. Davis sends it out to the left wing to Trimble. He's been major, especially defensively. Baycott sends it outside. You cannot leave an open three like that. Open with Ingram. Missed the three, but the putback's there by Jalen Withers. Michigan State forgot how to box out. Jalen Withers, a huge offensive putback off the rebound. Michigan State with it, driving at the low block. Hogart sends it over to the big fella, Xavier Booker. Turnaround jumper, 13-footer, drills the two. Got to give this man more of an opportunity out there. Xavier Booker, the, Booker a 6'11", front court player, having a, some solid shooting touch right there on the floor. Davis sends it out to the left wing, Trimble. Trimble, bounce pass go, gets sent to Baycott. Baycott passes off the double. A nice find underneath, backdoor cutter. Jalen Withers, back-to-back -back buckets. There you go for Withers. Big transfer pickup from Louisville, making an impact on the floor right now for the Tar Heels. And a timeout taken on the floor with 7.43 left to go. North Carolina keeps on shutting the door in this game as Michigan State keeps on shooting themselves in the foot in this matchup right now with turnover issues. And a lot, a lot of issues lately here for the Spartans that they cannot overcome. Seven-point lead for UNC. 64-57, just a beautiful dime off a backdoor cutter right there for North Carolina. A lot of balance between three guys tonight. 16 by Baycott, 14 by Ingram. He's made four threes. R.J. Davis has made three threes with 15. His last one he banked home, it hit all glass for Davis. Cormac Ryan has eight, Cadeau has three. Four off the bench recently by Withers. Withers have been struggling all game long in a uh, big time that he has got right there. A couple real big miscues down low in the front court for uh, Michigan State there. And Booker's found a touch in his shots, but just forgot to box out and then just, just defensively there. That was a bad possession by Michigan State, unaware where the backdoor cutter was going. 16 by Tyson Walker, 11 by Jaden Akins, Malik Call with 13. You cannot get a worse game out of A.J. Hogard tonight. Three points with eight missed shots, shooting one for nine, five assists, and three turnovers. He's having a really difficult game out there. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Feel free to join in for our Tennessee versus Texas a little bit later tonight. Past 8 o'clock, I plan on streaming that game as well. Twelve to seven. Actually, now it's fourteen to seven. NC State leads against Oakland fourteen to seven. Um, and the second half has begun between Iowa State and Washington State with the scores tied up at 27. I'll probably have to join Texas against Tennessee in progress because I have to change over the graphics and stuff like that. This game has run a little bit late to what the time was supposed to be before we were supposed to tip off. Both of these teams kind of sh shooting around a similar ballpark range. Michigan State's actually the better percentage-wise team in this matchup. 47% for Michigan State right now, 45% for UNC. Yeah, Tom Izzo explaining to Xavier Booker, these guys are just not getting it right now. Tom Izzo 
reaming out Xavier Booker has to take a seat on the bench. Him and number five, Trey Holloman. I mean, those two guys have let down their team big time today. Tom Izzo has to pull them separately and talk to them one on one. It, it, I mean, it's just embarrassing. The camera's right on those guys. Just absolutely embarrassing. Michigan State couldn't get it off right there as it goes back to UNC. 64-57 now with 7.15 left to go. North Carolina up by 7. Looking to build upon it. Trimble. Bounce pass goes out to the elbow. Baycott backs his way on Cooper. Baycott off the pivot over. Cooper no good. Off the glass. Tipped up to Walker for the defensive rebound. Walker takes it up the floor here for Michigan State. Sends it on top. A wide open three. Malik Hall couldn't make it. And deflected on the bounce as it goes off of Aikens. It'll be North Carolina basketball with under seven minutes left to play. Oh, okay. I got you. Thanks so much, Alex. Appreciate it, man. Yep, that's right. So this game's taking place in Charlotte. That's correct. Um, so North Carolina, yeah, they get the big factor in um, that because this game's in Charlotte and also Texas and Tennessee is in Charlotte. Iowa State start to pull away 31-27. to Four-zip run to begin half two for Iowa State. Miscommunication defensively for Michigan State. Leaves the finger roll there with a layup scored by Elliott Cadeau. 66-57. Mental breakdown defensively there for Michigan State. Jumper misfire, no good. Around the rim and out missed by Aikens. North Carolina off an outlet ahead. Though Michigan State's defense able to get back. Ingram jacks up the three. And it goes in. Spinning and spinning. He takes it. He makes it. And a timeout on the floor taken by Michigan State. Harrison Ingram lighting it up from the perimeter tonight for the Tar Heels. Big time shot right there by Ingram. Major transfer portal pickup from Stanford. For the UNC Tar Heels under head coach Hubert Davis. Ingram gets himself up to now 17 points. The top score for the UNC. He's made his fifth three tonight. That's just massive right there of a shot. That, that rolled around the rim. They've gotten two of those threes out of Ingram today. One of them hit the front of the rim, skidded to the back in the first half, and dropped in. That's six points accounted for that they've got through bounces off the rim in this game. That rim over in Charlotte just really liking them. NC State up over Oakland, 22-15. Iowa State up by four still against Washington State, 31-27. I'll be back later tonight covering Texas against Tennessee. Yeah, this UNC team is built off of transfers of a lot of these guys. Cormac Ryan came over from Notre Dame. Ingram, he's only a sophomore. This is incredible. Like um, Harrison Ingram, 6'8", and he's made five threes. He's averaging 12, 9, and 2 this year for points, rebounds, and assists this season. Paxton Wojcik had some solid minutes. He came from Brown. Yeah, he... I, I don't know why he's not on draft boards more. He's a sophomore. He's shooting 37% from three. He's having the game of his life from the perimeter out here. He had a he had a season high five made threes against Duke. He went five for nine from three. Dropped down 21 points with 13 rebounds. I want to see what his career high is for Ingram because he just made his fifth three of the game. Yeah, he just tied a career high. Yeah, he, okay, yep, he is a junior. I don't know why my roster sheet says sophomore. For him. So he is a junior. He played his first season. He he started he started ninety six games in his career for Ingram. So he's almost at a hundred. He started thirty in his first year at Stanford. 
He's been a double-digit scorer every single season with his rebound numbers going up. His three-point numbers have shot up this year for him. So so he is a junior. I don't know why it, on the UNC roster, she, he was labeled as a sophomore for some reason. So he's in his third season uh, playing college heaps. First two out of Stanford. 15 points today. Scored off turnovers. Converted four for UNC. That's That's been the difference in this game today. It's been those uh, Michigan State miscues. 10 turnovers leading into the 15 points off turnovers. North Carolina with just five total turnovers entirely in this game. Inbound here for Michigan State. Malik Hall attacks inside the pay. Hall right to the rim. Scores up and in with a right-hand layup. That's an urgent possession there for Michigan State. That's exactly what you needed to do right there for them. They needed to use as little clock as possible to get this game winning 10. That was a perfect possession drawn up back from the timeout. Cadeau outside sends it off to Ryan. Lobs it over to the low block. Baycott backs his way and Cooper turn around a hook over Cooper got it to go 12 point lead again for North Carolina Baycott's got 18 now five for nine shooting from the floor as well as so we're down to five and a half minutes left to play triple drive inside Hogard up fake at the low block passes right corner missed three off the mark no good by Walker tipped off the glass where Ingram collects rebound number eight and Cadell will slow it down Cadeau on the floor with a Baycott Ingram. Number 24, Jalen Withers out there as well. And Cormac Ryan. R.J. Davis getting some rest on the bench with his team up by 12. Looking to add to a Baycott. No good. Missed at the low block. Withers tipped it out of bounds. And this will be going to Michigan State. Malik Hall is down right now on the floor. Malik Hall took a shot to his face. As he is down currently. Just scored a last bucket off a strong drive. Gets helped out to his feet right now from Malik Call. Let's see here in the replay. I think it was on the rebound here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He took a shot. Baycott's... That Baycott... Yeah, it's Baycott's arm flailing back to Hall. They didn't call anything on Baycott there. Michigan State will get the ball. So Michigan State down by 12. They got to get urgent possessions here. They're going to take a little bit of time crossing midcourt with Hogard. Hogard having a tough game today. Akins dribbles up right corner. Outside finds Walker. Laces up a three. That's an air ball. Out of bounds. It will go back to North Carolina. That That's... He, he just launched it too far. I mean... That's one that he usually is able to make for Tyson Walker. 4.5 left to go. They started off shooting 4 for 6 in this half. The wheels have fallen off lately here for Michigan State. Handoff goes to Davis. Davis turns the corner, drives. Oh, what a move. Slices the feathers. Put back jam. Throwing it down. Jalen Washington showing that athleticism right there up over the rooftop. Punches it home with a right-handed finish. 14-point lead, largest one tonight for North Carolina as A.J. Hogard couldn't finish at the rim. Plus a loose ball foul picked up on the floor as well, charged to Michigan State. Hogard wide open, downhill to the rim, couldn't finish as he blew a open layup. Let's see here. Hogard driving, gets past his man as he falls down. Jalen Washington and Hogard blew it. And then the reach in as Davis came up with a rebound and Hogard slapped him after he came down with a rebound. Worst possible game for A.J. Hogard today. Three points, seven missed shots. He's also got three turnovers. As we will have a timeout taken here on the floor for North Carolina. Two timeouts for both of these teams each. UNC running away with this thing right now. Largest lead by 14. Major athleticism. Coming from the dude off the bench. With Jalen Washington. He's got four points, but both of the shots he's made and that one he punched home. Off a putback. It was Davis who missed the layup. But threw it down. Followed up 
his own man shot. This is just a resilient team. Like, things were not clicking early on in this game for UNC. They trailed by 12 at one point. And then all of a sudden, they had a momentum switch in their favor. Turnover issues have really played Michigan State today. 10 turnovers. Just 5 by North Carolina. This game has been close throughout most of it. And UNC with their defense is... Provided some big defensive stops, some massive blocks. They've shut the door throughout this game in the second half. Michigan State's try to come on back, and they just keep on shutting the door on them. Iowa State leads now 36-31 to against Washington State. Iowa State on a 9-4 second half starts. NC State leading Oakland 26-22. If you're new in the stream, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell if you'd like to come back, come on back, be a part here on the channel as we are less than 30 subscribers away from 25,000. And I'll be back later tonight covering Texas against Tennessee. So if you'd like to join in, feel free to do so later today. Harrison Ingram out here is having the game of his life. 17 points tied for a career high. Five made threes. Baycott's got 18 points, seven rebounds, two blocks. Two blocks as well by Seth Trimble off the bench. That really saved UNC. UNC was up by four at one point in this half. They led in um during that time, Seth Trimble had denied two blocks within a three minute span to make sure that Michigan State didn't tie it up. Back to action. Ingram took a quick corner three. Missed around the rim and out. Offensive rebound picked up by Ryan. And an immediate foul reaching in charge to Michigan State. Chris in the stream. Welcome in. Thanks for joining in, man. Fifth foul picked up by Michigan State. Four by North Carolina. Right now, inbound, underneath, bounce pass, wide open, and the bucket scored, up and then off the backboard. Cormac Ryan with a wide open pass there. TV is a little bit choppy. I believe that was Baycott who just scored, 75-59. Yeah, my TV is very, very choppy currently. We're, in a, uh, we're getting some severe winds and rain at the moment, but they get 75-59 to score. Let's see if I can switch it over potentially for me. The wind's really uh, picking up. I got another option, and I'm able to get it over on a YouTube TV instead of antenna for some reason. But I got 75.59 here. There we go. A little bit of contact right there in the backcourt as Davis was trying to go up the floor. So there's 331 left to go. North Carolina will get the inbound in their backcourt. They cross the midcourt logo here. Davis dribbles up, and Michigan State picks up foul number seven. Charge to the Spartans right now. So that will stop the clock with 325. So this will set North Carolina now in the bonus. Jaden Akins with a bad reach and foul just a moment ago. Yeah, I can't get channel 12 for some reason um, over my antenna. So I'm going to switch uh, it over. Try again later or so. First shot here by Davis right down the middle. Yeah, I like Illinois in that game today. They should be able to win against Duquesne. Hey, appreciate it. Uh, balling on the budget. Appreciate it here for stopping by in the stream. Free to number two coming up here at the line for Davis. 
That one is no good. Bounced off the rim, tipped up to Michigan State with a rebound. Michigan State's got to get something here offensively. Time's ticking down on them. Walker drives inside the paint. Walker, kick out quarter, wide open three. Xavier Booker before though. North Carolina commits a reach and foul in the key. So that will be number five committed by the Tar Heels now. Seven by Michigan State this half. That's on Ingram reaching in. Texas versus Tennessee coming up in a little bit. Later from now, around 8.15 for a tip-off. I'll be back in the call for that one as well. Michigan State attacking the paint when Malik Hall, Hall gets fouled. So he's going to head to the line, shoot two. First one was good by Malik Hall. Yeah, Oakland right now is hanging in in that game against NC State. Second free throw is good. NC State leads by three, 28-25. North Carolina in their backcourt. Davis gets fouled. I mean, Michigan State trying to hack... North Carolina here, but North Carolina is top 45 in the nation in free throw shooting percentage. Trey Holloman just not playing with any sort of basketball IQ in this game. Just picked up his fourth personal foul tonight. I'm going to send RJ Davis to the free throw line. I mean, he's going to make these free throws on you. Just a bad, bad decision there for Michigan State. First one in the bonus is good. 7761. R.J. Davis has scored over 2,000 points in his career. Amado Baycott with over 2,300. Just those two guys are top five all time at North Carolina program history and points scored. Just so much experience on the UNC roster. Michigan State with a bunch of experience. But in the Battle of the Blue Bloods, North Carolina, three minutes left to go from picking up a victory, moving on. To the Sweet 16. 78-61. Michigan State with the ball. Pushing it downhill to the rim. There's Walker. Gets the layup. And a timeout taken on the floor here. As Michigan State will burn one. One timeout remaining for Michigan State. North Carolina still has three timeouts left to go. So we take the timeout. 2.57 remaining. Alright. If you guys are new in the stream. Make sure to smash the thumbs up. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Make sure to keep on coming back for future live streams here on the channel as well. Texas versus Tennessee coming up after the end of this one. It'll probably be like a 20 minute break or so. Again, Michigan State follows North Carolina. Next time around, they'll be in a double bonus. So, down to 249 left to play. Elliot Cadeau, 65% free throw shooter. One for one tonight. Will shoot in the one and one. Free throw is good. They left him completely wide open from three. Didn't make a single three today. Zero for four. But still, Michigan, uh, Michigan State's defense left him completely wide open. And still, they got a 16-point lead. Missed the second one. Next time around, they'll be shooting two shots guaranteed every way throughout the stretch of this game. Jumper, 15-footer. Walker drills the two. Tyson Walker putting his team on his back tonight for Michigan State. He's got himself up to now 20 total points by Tyson Walker, 8 for 14 shooting. After that, 17 by Malik Hall, 11 by Jaden Akins. North Carolina with possession. Four guys and double figures, all starters for UNC. 18 each between Baycott and Davis. 17 by Ingram, making five threes, tying a career high. And then 10 points by Cormac Ryan. Davis, five in the shot clock, sends it outside. Ingram looking for six. Instead, drives right to the paint, soars up to the rim, missed the layup. Booker came up with a defensive rebound. As we are down to two minutes left to play, Michigan State needing a bucket here. And a reach and foul picked up, charged to Ryan. That's a bad foul because this will put 
Michigan State in the bonus. That's number seven picked up by North Carolina now. Yeah, these Big Ten schools are starting to uh, drop games in the tournament recently. So the SEC was a major disgrace early on, and now Big Ten teams lately. The late night slate last night was brutal for Nebraska and Wisconsin, and now Michigan State about to uh, lose to another ACC team and not make it to the second weekend once again. A couple of years ago, uh, two years ago, 2022, they lost against Duke and Paulo Bencaro in round two. That was with uh, Paulo Bencaro. Mark Williams was on that team for Duke. Free throws were good at the line. 12-point game under two minutes left to play. And again, Michigan State gives a foul while North Carolina is in the double bonus the rest of the stretch. They put Cormac Ryan at the free throw line. Um, I'm, I'm from Massachusetts, so... Yeah, I'm actually not from Michigan. I'm from Massachusetts. I cover different teams, by the way, for uh, College Hoops NBA. The college team that I root for is Providence. The NBA team that I'm a, f that I'm a fan of is the Celtics. Jaden Akins has fallen out. He is done for the remaining part of this game. They just keep on committing fouls. I mean, trying to hack these guys, but... They're too good of free throw shooters right now. Free throw number one is good. He's sent an 86% free throw shooter at the line with Cormac Ryan. But, I mean, this is n not new news. The Big Ten every single year just fails to impress in the NCAA tournament. They only have one combined championship in the last 25 years in the Big Ten in March Madness. 81-67, to 67. Cormac Ryan made both of the free throws. Step back three in the air, missed off the mark by Walker. The rebound secured by Ingram. This time, Michigan State will not follow. Minute 40, counting down remaining. R.J. Davis crosses midcourt. I'll be back later tonight covering Texas versus Tennessee, the battle between UT versus UT. So feel free to stop on by. We'll be tipping off around 8.15 p.m. later tonight. So I'll be back on for one more stream later tonight. Davis at the top of the key. Five of the shot clock. Jibble drive right down the lane inside to the rim. He scores. Up and in with a right hand layup by RJ Davis. A walking bucket by Davis getting himself up to 20 points tonight in this game. Leading the way. Four guys in double figures for North Carolina. 20 by Davis. 18.7 rebounds by Baycott. 17 by Ingram, tying a career-high five made threes, and then 12 points by Cormac Ryan. Michigan State gets the layup. It's a 14-point game with 56 seconds left. North Carolina making sure that they do not go down to a nine seed in a region that was kind of seen as like an unpredictable region out in the West. As they'll be moving on, they'll be facing the winner of Alabama versus Grand Canyon, the 4 versus 12. In their round of 32 matchup, whoever wins that one will face UNC out west in Los Angeles for their Sweet 16 matchup next week. Going to do a quick scoreboard check right now. Two games in progress. Iowa State's leading Washington State 48-44. And then North Carolina State leads Oakland 32-27. Really impressive victory for North Carolina. These guys were dead in the water early on. They were down by 12 with no signs of life. They were breaking shots to start off this game. And then the momentum by Michigan State completely flipped to North Carolina. North Carolina came out flat. There was an offensive foul that was committed by Trey Holloman that he pushed off past midcourt. And that offensive foul really just boosted the catalyst for UNC to come back in this game. They went into halftime on a 23-1 to run for North Carolina. And by the way, they've won the most NCAA tournament second round games as a program ever compared to other teams. They've won 28 games in the second round, about to be 29. Final minute left to go. 83-69. to Impressive game today by UNC considering they trail by 12 and they flipped it to be a 26 point swing in this game up by 14 currently Michigan State gives a foul as Ryan will head to the free throw line with 45 seconds I mean this game is well in check you're, you're up by 14 and you commit a foul here with 45 seconds just let these guys 
play. I don't, I don't see why you're falling when you're down by 14 for Michigan State. First one is good. North Carolina is going to get their bench guys in the game right now. What a game. Baycott, over 2,300 points scored during his career. Davis is over 2,000. Just phenomenal. Those guys will their team to victory. 20 by Davis, 17 by Baycott, with seven re or uh, 18 by Baycott with seven rebounds. Harrison Ingram, massive transfer pickup. He has 17 with seven rebounds, tying a career high five threes. 12 by Cormac Ryan. I mean, Harrison Ingram's playing that Brady Manic type role from two years ago that provided a spark in their run all the way to the national championship game. Cormac Ryan, one for two at the free throw line. Jared, welcome in. Thanks for joining in. That's awesome. Watching uh, the main Mariners up there in Sanford. Welcome on board. Glad to have you part of the stream. I'm over from uh, Massachusetts, like two and a half hours south. Michigan State with the ball. Final 30 seconds. Jumper, no good. Around the rim and out. Missed by number 20, Nick Sanders for the Spartans. As North Carolina will take it up the floor and UNC... We'll pick up the win. They'll be moving on to the Sweet 16. Once again for North Carolina. 85-69. to 69. Four players in double figures for their starting five for UNC. Just a well-balanced attack between Davis with 20. Baycott with 18 points and 7 rebounds. 17 by Harrison Ingram with 5 made threes. 14 points by Cormac Ryan. They advance over to the Sweet 16 for the 31st time in school history for North Carolina as UNC picks up the win. Final score, 85-69. to And North Carolina will face the winner of Alabama versus Grand Canyon in the Sweet 16 next week. Resilient for North Carolina. They were down by 12. They flipped it to a 16-point win. Just a game of determination. These guys came out super flats, but in the final 30 minutes of today's game, they really got going, started to make their shots, and then they took the lead, never looked back. They'll be playing out west on Thursday in the Sweet 16 for North Carolina. What a game. Before I do sign off, make sure to smash the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Make sure to join back in for Tennessee versus Texas. In around a half an hour from now, I'll be back around 8.15 p.m. for Tennessee versus Texas, so feel free to join in if you guys would like for the next stream coming up for the final stream tonight. Uh, triple header I plan on covering tomorrow as well between Colorado Marquette, Duke and James Madison, and then Houston against Texas A&M. See you guys in a little bit for Tennessee versus Texas. That should be a good one. North Carolina. Picks up the win, 85-69, to 69, the final score. We're going to close out to the channel members. All channel members get a shout-out at the end of each and every single one of my live streams. you got Jason, Warren, Rajiv, I Am Ghost, Russell, John, Mark, Kelly, Jeffrey, Vegas, Oink, Oink, Michael, Katie, Bradley, Daniel, Derek, Sister Surround, Mario, Guido, SG Sports Talk, Ice Ice Baby, Robin, and Melinda. Thanks all for joining in and being a part of the stream for this one tonight's We Go Final. North Carolina wins 85-69 over Michigan State. And enjoy the rest of your Saturday night, everybody.